We're back again. So Chris Jericho was my bartender yesterday. Chris Jericho was your bartender yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Dude, oh. sexy as fuck. But uh, he uh, he was cool about it. But like he loved that I kept calling him Y2J and he kept pouring me heavy ass drinks. Uh -huh. And uh, I woke up with the biggest hangover of my life. I'm pretty sure Chris Jericho fucking slipped me some uh, Ruflin, bro. Like, Do you need disgusting. some hangover medicine? I mean, I, I, prom I, I have a, yeah, I have a whole kit for you. Um, Really? This is yeah. got booze? It's right there. Give me that that pack, that blue packet right there. Um, right by the black shoes. Wait, right it, next to the if it's not booze, um, don't give it to me. The mini tiger. Oh. It's, I'm already drinking. Oh really? Drink it. That makes me feel better. Oh, yeah, okay, like, cool. Now. Never mind. Yeah, I'm doing well then no. cool. Never mind. I have a goodie pack for you. We're there gonna, you go. No, no, we're gonna actually I'm gonna bring that up once we get once we oh. get on it. I'm gonna pull that out. We're just not gonna show the No, I wanna let's hear the, the um glorious world. Jericho, so that's it? He oh just, well like he looked exactly like Chris Jericho? He looked exactly like Chris Jericho, like um but he was American. So which, which a good Chris version. Jericho did he look like? Uh, like current Jericho, like long haired Jericho, but like when he starts Right there, uh, left, top left things. He had the goatee, literally just like him. So older, but long hair. Mm -hmm. oh. That's exactly legit how he looked, but Damn. with a few more tattoos on his arm. He yeah. even had like, he had like a very like pronounced projected voice. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, but he, but it had a more of American like. How many armbands did he have on? Uh, what color were they? I don't fucking remember, man. Oh. Like I said, he fucking roofied me. Oh, you know really? <laughs> yeah, but he's still cool. I'd go back. Did you like, suck his dick? I, I don't know, bro. I got roofied. I don't know. <laughs> oh, shit. I could have. Where'd you spoke. wake up? Uh, Why are you nervous the, right now? Because I'm trying to think where I did wake up. I woke up, I'm pretty sure on the couch, but it was like 4 p.m. yesterday. Oh, so I'm talking about Friday, not yesterday. No, I've missed a whole day because of the roofies. But. We didn't even mention we have Mace the Comedian <laughs> on. I was trying He's to lead back. straight in. I kind of want to <laughs> probably eliminate the whole intro. Yeah, probably a good idea. It's, it's so start from... Shame. When you start okay. the music? No, I just cut it. Okay. I'm used okay. to cutting them. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Facts. No. So, Chris Jericho, what's the name of the bar you were at? Do you want to, Judas? Want to shout out the name of the no, bar? No, I don't want to shout out the name of the bar. Uh, <laughs> oh, man, it's just no. supposed to be for Come real. Come on, man. They no, can get no, no. the BFR Fozzie. bump. My, uh, shit. All right. Mine Shaft. Son is right next to a- uh, Shaft? Oh, because you were at a gay bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's no, it's connected to a kid's restaurant, bro. It's inside a kid's uh, Like, it's a kid's well, it's restaurant. What's a kid's restaurant? That's what why you he's, mean a kid's that's restaurant? That's why he's sweating. Like, like, like at McDonald's? Like, motherfuckers <laughs> are, like, dressed up as the Riddler and, like, uh, Velmo from Scooby-Doo serving kids, but then they're outside, like, smoking weed, like, oh, another rough day. Oh, yeah, like, the real uh, Scooby-Doo. Are you talking yeah. about the Magic Time Machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's the, it's the bar inside there. Yeah, I was like, what's a kid's restaurant? Like, yeah. Hmm. I've never been there. Is it good? Really? I heard never it's like it. mediocre. No, the food's not good. Yeah. Yeah. It's Kids the, liked it though. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Like the ambiance. Um our last the last time we went um was uh he was uh, Ace Ventura. <laughs> so he bends over and does that. Let me tell you something. He talks with his ass. Yeah, he talks with his ass if he wants to table, give him even credit. if there's kids there. I would give him more credit if he crawled out of a rhinoceros's ass. Oh, that'd be then hilarious. I'd be like, all right, you're yeah. really Ace Ventura. <laughs> What's the password? Password. Do any of y'all know Did, the password? Are you Googling who do you, is do, Ace on, Ventura? Do any of y'all know the password? Nipples. No. No? That's a cable guy. Come on, you're movie guys. Come on. What's the... It's, I'm talking about this movie. Oh, shit. oh I was What's the talking password? about cable guy. No. It's this movie. Is it Chicago? You don't remember? No. Chicago. I think that was one of the ones he tried, but it wasn't that. The password Zoom. is... The password? No, I don't know. New England clam chowder. Oh. New England clam chowder. I was thinking on uh, Cable Guy when they're playing... Um, what is it? The uh, where you have to whisper a word and then you have to tell it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he's like nipples, um, <laughs> but he says it like. Speaking of Cable Guy, um, he was in the movie um, um, Lion King. Truman no, what's that Truman Show? Right, I love and Truman that's Show. like um, mm, what is it? Made up reality. Yep. Right. Speaking of made up reality, um, have you ever heard of the Vision Pro? <laughs> God, I struggled to segue into that one. <laughs> I thought we were going into a simulation theory. <laughs> oh, um, no, the Vision Pro. So we were talking to you about the Vision Pro before we started, right? Um, and you haven't heard of it. No, you no. Haven't I mean, seen I've heard of it. Like click, click on the video. Shit. All right, let's check it out. This is VR on another level. If it, if it turns out to be this way, go ahead. You just go to that Yeah, one. just go to that one. I, I don't have YouTube Premium. <gasps> Jobs 
Because you owe me a fucking Introducing rack. Apple Vision Pro. Thought that was the there? era yeah, of speaker yeah. computing <laughs> is here. Oh, black. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ariel. <laughs> When you put on Apple Vision Pro, you see your world and everything in it. Shout out to our new sponsor, Apple. Your favorite apps live right in front of you. But now, they're in your space. So that's going to be her. This is Vision OS, Apple's first ever spatial operating system. (laughs) (laughs) It's familiar, yet groundbreaking. You navigate with your eyes. Simply tap That'd be cool select. if everything we were talking Flip about started scroll. just coming up for her. Is this a Black like, Mirror episode? Your voice oh, to no, this right? is supposed to be like. real. This is coming in January. It's like magic. Yo. Mm. Apps have dimension. React to light. And cast shadows. What? Even though these spatial experiences are happening inside Vision Pro, it looks, sounds, and feels like they are physically there. <laughs> Fucking crazy, right? Foundational to Apple Vision Pro is that you're not isolated from other people. That's not even a real girl right there, bro. When someone else is in the room, (laughs) you can see them, and they can see you. It's Lars's (laughs) bitch. There's lesbians in augmented reality? (laughs) Take care. I think the thing is, is how long does it take to get to be you, right? You're always going to feel that sense of... of, um, It's going to be a whole... So if you guys have been paying... I'm sure you've paid attention to... um, to how artificial intelligence, they're worried about it um, becoming self, uh, self-aware. self-aware yeah. So once that happens, it's not going to be you. It's going to be their version of what you could have, like kind of like almost a multiverse kind of thing. Like, like what a simulated you, you version. Been, become <laughs> something else. So it will yeah. be its own thing. So it won't need to be you. It, you, you, know, you won't be able to tell the difference physically. Well, what makes you you though? I mean, my dick. Like, you know, no, no, but it will be like, it will be like a different version of you. Like if you had been born and raised in a different country with very like loose parents or something, it might be oh, like, you my know. My mom's pretty loose. Yeah. Yeah. We but, like, yeah, it will episode. advance on a different yeah. level just based on it, it. Cause it will grow. It'll be self-aware. It'll teach yourself grow in its own way. Yeah. So it will be someone else just with the same characteristics as you. It won't be you anymore. But it'd so be like, pretty damn close and I'll take it, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. If I had a pretty damn close to my grandpa, like, yeah. that'd, be, that'd be pretty badass. Do you think we could take our memories, like put them in a flash drive? Or grandma. Or grandma and put the, put our memories in a flash drive and then just put it into some AI and then that becomes that's like... A, that's a Black Mirror episode. That's a, that is that? I've never no, seen I think that's yeah. possible. Right? It can come. It is, but not for anything from the past. They're going to have to do it from probably video, video like from actual now, AV recording going, right? from like your yeah, eyes yeah. and shit because our memories, I don't know if you guys know, we don't actually, there's no such thing as a photographic memory. What it is is our mind auto-populates like kind of things we're used to. Mm-hmm. So like your memory that it could have been like you, you and your grandpa went fishing and you swear to God, oh, he was wearing a blue shirt. We went to this lake. Really what it is is just if you're used to like him wearing a, seeing him so many times wearing a blue shirt, your mind will automatically populate. What about that picture of me and him wearing a blue shirt? Well, if you have that picture, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> but it's but if you but look at that blue, that picture enough, that's where the yeah, blue shirt is. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Your brain is talking about yeah. your brain. So you, but technically like, so like you that's can lie about it. <laughs> <laughs> you just scared the fuck out of rocks. <laughs> my brain's talking to my brain. Reaction, <laughs> Keep them away from each other. <laughs> <laughs> my brain's thinking about my brain. Right now. <laughs> oh my God. But you know what's gonna make the the this like truly successful and, and like groundbreaking porn? Oh fuck yeah! Yeah, if it if but what I'm worried about is is it gonna be that good? Right? This is a movie. This is this is all oh, graphically yeah. made. Right? This is not fucking footage of what they're yeah. seeing right Those now. Those are the cut scenes in like in the video game as opposed to like actual exactly. as opposed to the actual playthrough. Mm-hmm. It's like those uh like those little ads you get uh, on on Facebook and YouTube and all that. It I don't think I think especially they're talking about where you look. Mm-hmm. Um and imagine how hard it's going to be for them to follow that or how much like like kind of like if, if it goes like if something went off thought power right and mm-hmm. you're like me and I have random thoughts pop in my head and every time I'm like thinking of a bitch naked mm-hmm. and it's just like I'm doing work and then pff, fucking yeah. like girls naked pop up like yeah. imagine how fucked up Get that away, would be dudes. that seems <laughs> to imply right now that you're looking through um, like the essentially fucking uh, ski goggles yeah that's yeah. what it, it's not it's not transparent like that there's a screen on both sides. And so when it's showing your face or your eyes mm-hmm. through it, 
it's not your, it's not like transparent looking at your face. It's a, it's a fucking video image oh, of, okay. of your face. So what you're saying so, is I can put the eyes open and awake and I can be asleep on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> but what they're trying to advertise and I think what they're trying to accomplish is that, is that I want this screen to be transparent where you see the world and what they're trying to make it look like is that's what it is and that's not what it is. It's kind of like when you first learn how to do something mm-hmm. but not right, you just do it your own little way. Until you figure it out, I think that's what this first version. I think is. it's eventually going to lead to contacts that do the kind of like in uh, oh, like fuck. I don't know if Black Mirror did Black it, Mirror. but there right. but there was an app that one of the first Apple yeah. TV shows ever did. They had a thing mm-hmm. where that everyone had like their phone was in a contact lens yeah. in their eyes, and uh, actually it was pretty cool. I only watched ten seconds of it, right. but like a virus hit anyone who was online. So mm-hmm. these people who were in an underground garage mm-hmm. who lost signal fucking didn't die, but everyone else like if somebody's walking into where signal hit, they just it, it, like killed them. Um, I think that shit could happen, dude. Imagine hacking. Yeah. Imagine hacking that shit. My my one of this one of these ladies <laughs> I work with. She um, tripping out. I was a computer tech, and she's like, I went to fix her computer, and she's like, it always breaks. I'm sorry, you're always here, and I'm like, yeah, that is weird. And she's like, it's me, and I'm like, no, and I always tell them it's not you, and I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, it is them. And then she like, started unbuttoning her shirt. <clears throat> <laughs> she was like, it's me. It's there's me. something inside <laughs> me. And I was like, what? She goes, yeah, there's some, I have a, like a pacemaker, I guess, or some certain kind of pacemaker that uh, fucks with electronics. Oh, and she didn't know that uh, until. I, I thought she wanted you to fill around inside. Yeah, when she said it's me. Yeah, I thought she was hitting on you. Yeah. I should have called HR, in, right? It's inside of me. <laughs> she wanted, inside, me, to, and then touch, to she wanted me to touch inside her. <laughs> I need you to grab it. Like, sir, she was talking about her pacemaker. Use your foreskin. Use your foreskin like a fucking elephant nose and grab it out of her. (laughs) Um, Dear fucking God. You got the visual? (laughs) She looks up elephant foreskin. (laughs) In a rear view mirror. Um, (laughs) We're talking about penises. <laughs> you know if you watch some porn in your life. Yeah, um she didn't she when she realized it, her son was putting together a fucking electronic car for science class. Mm-hmm. And um he was working on it, finally got it to fucking go, right? <laughs> so he's like, Mom, come check out my car. It's because it was a race that they were gonna do, so he got it to go. She walked in, it stopped working. He's like what? Like <laughs> it was working. And he, she's like, fuck? Oh, it's okay. Fix it. And then let me know. And so she walks out, it starts fucking going. <laughs> and he's like, mom, it's working. And he comes back in and it stops. She's a superhero, bro. She can yeah. rob fucking, but she starts off with the dark start. She, she can rob banks. She walks in and cameras and all that shit. Oh, oh hell oh, yeah. Oh. Think of the things you can yeah. do. You're just sitting here fucking Microsoft word ain't working. Like, <laughs> After we get you. off of here, we're just going to go up to oh. and be like, Bill, we're, uh, we're well, assembling uh, a team. We need you. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert. She died from a heart attack oh, like shit. last year. Uh, origin story. Uh, um, <laughs> robbing yeah. a bank. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, then her, she walks back in and her son's like, wait, I think it's you. And so then he had her go for the science project. <laughs> no way. <laughs> like, yeah, like, look, guys, it's like my mom stops the fucking car. My mom's a walking fucking EMP right here. Yeah, he's going to Harvard now and his mom died. Tight. Is he really going to Harvard? No, and his oh. mom's not dead. I, I don't even know. Oh, right. dude. Oh. Does she even really have powers? I already tattooed her <laughs> name did. on me. I <laughs> Damn, sure you hadn't even got Grandma's name tattooed yet. Don't mm-hmm. play. Oh. Don't play. You know I love my Grammy. Okay. Oh. Just checking. Love check. Um, yeah, so that was crazy. But this shit's this shit's interesting. I would probably buy it if if um if I got to demo it and saw that it was almost like ninety percent like what that looks like. Oh, that shit's next level, bro. Yeah, it must be like a year before you can get your hands on one. A Why? year, fucking, because it, it's fucking Apple and everybody's gonna be buying that shit out. I give it five years, hmm. bro. Like really. I mean, come on. Thirty okay, so sure it's thirty five hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. But remember, uh, what's the latest Xbox came? Xbox came out. The Xbox it was like a year, two years, uh, and the PlayStation longer, too. Yeah, it came out during fucking COVID. Bro. How much was it? Five hundred. Five hundred, but oh. they you couldn't get them. They oh. flew off the shelf. Yeah. So I think that's what it's going to be. Anyone that can't afford them is already going to have them. Mm-hmm. And uh, and then there's going to be the knockoffs. What I think will happen is the uh, who's uh, Samsung or whoever is their biggest competitor right now. Mm-hmm. I think will come out with their own, which will mm-hmm. be shittier, more than likely. A little bit less expensive. We'll start coming out, and it will defeat the whole. I, I think we'll start. There'll be there'll be a big competitive market on this shit because obviously it's if that shit's coming out now. Samsung's better than Apple though. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it, it is. is. 
No, it's not. I it don't is. know. I've never gotten a virus on my Apple phone from looking at porn. Yeah, I I've haven't never either. gotten a virus got a lot on of my problems Samsung idea. phone from watching porn. Mm. Well, let's have a porn off. I've right never got a virus. <laughs> You're going against the wrong guy, man. You, you've <laughs> never recorded 23 podcast episodes on your Samsung phone. I've never attempted to. Mm, you should probably should. You should probably do it. <laughs> You should do it. I'm not allowed to bring out my phone on the podcast anymore, so. Oh, that's a gaslight. 100%. Or I don't some I don't know what term to put. He's being a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you that. He's being a bitch. <laughs> Using excuses. You're so corporate. You got the excuses lined how up. How many dick how many dick pics do you have on your phone? Be hmm? honest. None? Who are None? you looking at? No, I was looking at Rich. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> I got like two. I like those glasses by the way. They're not mine though. You have two dick pics that are not yours? No, the glasses aren't mine. Oh, I have a He's talking oh, about my glasses. Your glasses are here though. My glasses? Yeah. Your pilot um your um yeah. Oh, but yeah, I got aviators. Like, <laughs> I got two dick pics on my phone. I I think <laughs> and, and how they're old not yours? They? They're not mine. Oh. See, mine are mine, but like I've had Oh, uh, I know years. one of them. Who? Um uh mine. Cynic. Oh yeah. No, Bianca's guy. Oh, oh, that was yeah, on her yeah. phone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. That was her phone when she gave me her password. Uh, Actually, so I'm gonna I'm gonna transition this topic over into the comedy world. So that's what kind of the biggest fear during COVID. So during COVID, the comedy mm-hmm. thing was a uh, everybody was doing viral comedy, which was fucking terrible. And mm-hmm. anyone still doing it, I think is absolutely what's terrible. viral comedy. What's the that's like like how we're sitting doing this podcast? Mm-hmm. They were trying to do shows during the pandemic of people sitting at their computer desk mm-hmm. doing stand up comedy without an audience. I keep banging the microphone, uh, trying to do so like. It was like, okay, it was a way for people to try to still do it during the pandemic. And granted, I wasn't around the comedy scene then. Um, but after shit started coming back, the, it was kind of like showing who was terrible and the people are not getting booked. The people still sit at home doing it. It's like oh. the people still wearing masks in the car today. The like agents. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, it's like, okay, so you're. you're Is that what Andrew Schultz was doing? Which one's Andrew Schultz? Oh, shit. That's Which crazy. Uh, like I, the know. Second, yeah. Yeah. I love Andrew Schultz. Yeah, Michelle Schultz. didn't oh, even uh, know. Uh, Schultz. Yep. Oh shit! He just did Chicago. He did the Netflix special in Chicago. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, I mean he just did a stand up special. When in Chicago. you remember during the pandemic, he he was man, doing stand ups like yeah. He got popular from from. Uh, it was not really stand up. It was more like um, kind of like late night bits okay, um, so- where he would just talk about you know popular shit or whatever going on in the so news. A podcast. But man, he would make it fucking funny. No, he'd just be like, turn your phone sideways and then he'd just start ranting. Yeah, basically a podcast, it's, but he's just ranting like but joke after joke after joke. Like So that's what, there's people it, still trying to do that. And uh-huh. the biggest, like the biggest violator of that, um, mm-hmm. do you remember the first season? I don't know if I talked about this last time. First season of Last Comic Standing, the mm-hmm. winner, um, I can't remember his fucking name. Was it Ralphie May? Ralphie May. No, no, no. First, first season winner, uh, Asian dude from LA. Um, he just... Hans Kim. Ha, no, no, no. He, motherfucker. Hmm? No, yeah, I can't remember his name. It's like Bobby Lee. Dat fan. Dat fan. He was so Dat like fan. he's he's infamous in that he does these internet shows mm-hmm. with like thirty fucking comics, and it looks like a Zoom meeting, and it's people going up trying to tell jokes, and it's just like there's no audience. You know, the audience. That's is, crazy. It's just like yeah, there's no audience rough. after. They're still doing it. <laughs> yeah. He's infamous for that. Yeah, so TikTok. He's like, it looks like like on some of the shit down there. It looks like he's like doing like a late night show, like like you said. So yeah. I, I can get down with that. But most people were doing like, come to this comedy show and it's just Zoom mask meeting people trying to tell jokes at home. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. mask on or off? On a side note, dude, one. I was in uh, college right before uh, COVID hit, right? And I'm leaving and I see this Asian dude just with a fucking mask on. This is before COVID actually like, like hits and I see him and I'm just like, hmm, that's different. I don't really see people wear masks out here. And then I go on spring break and we never go back to college, bro. We're fucking in, in full pandem- pandemic fucking mode. And I was like, motherfucking Asian was on or something. <laughs> <laughs> like, he didn't fucking tell nobody. <laughs> oh. Wait, you went no. to college? Yeah. Wow. It's how surprised was that? Well, that's fun. I never went to college. Me, neither, Me? Yeah, I did. What'd you go for? Uh, business. Graduated. Oh, my, no shit. my associates. Yes, sir. And look where you're at sitting next to me. <laughs> yeah. That's the mm-hmm. best part about it. But but, but <laughs> yeah. what it actually did, though, was help me. Got you in debt, huh? No, oh, I'm not good. in debt at all. Really? See, Zero? I mean, I am in the debt, but not for college. <laughs> I'm in debt for college. <laughs> that's my drug dealer. <laughs> this is how terrible I am. I'm in debt for college, and I only went for a semester. I went for one semester at a community college, and I still owe Uncle Sam that shit. No. Like, I'm still in debt for one semester community college. That's trash, dude. 
but I, I'm so good at avoiding paying shit to the government. I've gotten away. It's been over 10 years and I still like. Uh, okay. Okay. Like Trixie, bucks. keep it down. Oh, keep it down. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All of our white folks. Yeah. Thank white you. people don't give a fuck she about did, taxes. She's a bro. different type I, of white. I, neither do Mexicans, but we don't talk about <laughs> yeah. it. <bro. laughs> we keep that to You're going to brag now about when you're white and you get away with something, you got to be like, listen, I know it's white privilege, but fuck yeah. Like now yeah. that we acknowledge it, it's like, thank God. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you're real about it, I guess. You know. But I was going to say something back to, um, oh, but the college actually helped me because I would take speech classes and I had to make speeches mm-hmm. on shit that I really didn't give a fuck about. So it helped me with talking to people and like. Um, Why don't you take some speech classes? Oh, I, I don't have problems talking to people. Oh, you yeah. don't? Motherfucker does karaoke at bars. He's fine. Yeah, I'm good. Oh, okay. He's not. He's just f- soft. I, he's, I present at work. He's not fine at all. You present? Oh, yeah. I've heard him talk at work. Really? Yeah. Is he different? He's he's more engaging with them than he is with fucking us. I'll tell wow, you that much. Oh, really? He's like, oh, yeah, Michelle. So <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> no, he's not. But like that's that. okay. I expect that from Michelle. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Then Can over he here, turn he, that on. He's like, huh, I'll step on everybody's jokes. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I won't talk till you're talking. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, wait, wait, wait. You stepped on my girl Michelle's jokes? My, yeah. Bro. And he stepped on she Love Maker's for, jokes. She loved me for it. <laughs> I know and the love maker was so funny and then Rich went and started talking and I, I don't like, even remember fucking doing that fuck are you saying love maker or love master love master, love master. Uh, he might be saying love maker but it's love master I don't know what he does dude what kind of questions are we gonna ask him you think he's ever eaten ass we're not gonna we just need to ask him a few questions he's just gonna take the way, the wheel pretty much right yeah that's what he does oh podcast. fucking like 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 a, like a fucking run at like a stand up set hmm? is he no oh that'd be dope though um it's funny, like the shit I've watched him on recent podcast. Um, he th- he makes it funny, but he also is, is um, inspiring and shit like that. Um, but man, dude, I keep telling this story, but um, he talks about how he was how he was kidnapped by a, a pedophile that worked for the Philadelphia Eagles organization. Huh? Yeah. He's that's ser- not a bit. No. What the his fuck? life, dude. Oh. His life is rowdy. That's just a little bit. Talks about how he tried to kill himself and his mom found him and she was more mad that he was using the brand new neckties in the closet that they bought. They, <laughs> and she she literally walked in while he was choking and was like, that's our brand new necktie. <laughs> that's fucking great. Yeah, he almost died in Hawaii on vacation. He was like on a drug binge and oh, he did die and then they brought him back. Um, you think he'll ever bring his goatee back though? And like everybody on the island was talking about the guy that died. And was brought back to life, and then like he was at the bar the next. He's day at the bar shit. starting lines. He's like, yeah, and they're like, "You're the guy that died bro. yesterday <laughs> with Chris Jericho." <laughs> yeah. So I think we're just gonna need a few questions, you know, for him. But you know, it's not gonna be hard. It's not gonna be hard to fucking. Oh no! Nah, when you get those questions. good ones, like when we had um a dude Mace the first time and Alejandro. Yeah, like you were very easy to fucking just. That's usually let how people go. describe me. Very. Yeah, you're very easy to let go. <laughs> It didn't yeah. take much to get you to open up. Well, no, that's, I mean, for, for like, and that's one thing I, that's why I don't like. Um, comedians? Not just comedians. It's it's more of people who aren't seasoned. Like when you Would do you fuck sh- Michelle Cantu? Uh, no, nah, she's too much of a friend. She's too much uh, of a friend. She wouldn't fucking let you, Mace. That's the fucking answer. <laughs> that's exactly yeah. what you would say. Oh, you're mean. You're in the friend zone. Uh, Ten years ago, maybe. No, it's funny. When I first started getting into comedy and uh, me and Michelle first started becoming friends, that was a big joke around uh, uh, a few like few of the bookers. They'd be like, she'd be like, I think she put Mace on something. And they'd be like, you just want to fuck him. And I'd be, I was like, I'm like, does she really want to, does she actually think I'm funny or does she want to fuck me? And I'm like, I really hope it's both, you know. But, oh, that's no, funny because that's what we were thinking about you. What? Do you really think she's funny or does she want to fuck her? No, no she's I, do, funny. I think she's fucking she's hilarious. Fucking hilarious. hilarious. I just Holy did, if you guys shit. haven't watched, I did uh, Patrick Christopher, one of your previous guests. I just did his little, uh, little, his little podcast yeah, YouTube the Props series, comic. Props Comic. And, uh, and I went on and there was somebody else who was going to do it after me. And they literally like, you stole my, you know, Michelle Cantu bit. I'm like, bitch, I, you, I asked you to go first. You said no. And I was like, all right. And. I'm like everyone knows whenever it gets who what comedian do you think like makes you feel like you can't be a comedian because they're so funny. My first answer is always Michelle can too. That and, wasn't uh, your answer this time though. I started with Mark Norman. It was Michelle though. Yeah, he, 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 he had her to, to host. No, no, no. That's oh, for the that's show. Second, that's right. for the show. That's another question. Yeah, you don't even do your fucking research. Yeah, right. bro, I'm you're not a real fan, that. man. Why they gotta be like that though? Did you? Wait, wait, Rox, <laughs> did you even watch that video? <laughs> 
Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and watch porn while doing it, please. And then tell us. Actually, come on the Don't next episode. Don't tell us. She's my <laughs> sister. Why the fuck would I want her to come back and tell us? Just bleep it out. You know, not from my ears while it's live. <laughs> Listen, everyone needs to watch porn and match. <laughs> memory. Time. Everyone. I've, I've, there. I watch your porn, Mason. Um, <clears throat> but, but why do they got to be like tips. that? Because for me... If, even if I was going to go on there and say Michelle can too, I would just do it better than you. Yeah, no, exactly. Like you know? saying, oh, like, yeah. so what? You're gonna so you're gonna change your ethics because it's uh, not cool. You, like, right. I thought yeah, you were no, telling Rich agree. that. Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> like such a shitty researcher. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's why I let it sit where it was at. And like, <laughs> let it marinate. But uh, but yeah, yeah like uh, um, but as for the like coming on being fun, like that's why I don't like uh, because I've been I've I've been on this shit. I know how this shit works. When you get people who are like who they this isn't about when you come on shit like this this isn't about being professional you got to be likable or no or you got to be uh invo- you got to be engaged involved mm-hmm. somewhat likable or if you're mm-hmm. disliked it's got to be like they're watching because they want to hate you you know you got to have something to you got to have the going. riz baby and if you go on and you're just there to like hey i'm a comedian come to my shows huh and let me tell you this funny story how i met this famous person that doesn't remember me you know like shit like yeah. that doesn't nobody gives a fuck about that unless you have a funny unless it's something that people can enjoy and tie themselves with and that's why i can't stand and so i've been telling you i'm like here get these people don't do these people um i've been trying to send people your way it's just hard to get people to san antonio you haven't told us not to do anybody so um he's told for me. the record Oh, you have? Oh, he has? I have, but I, cool. we, don't, we don't spread it out. Oh, yeah. on that list. So anybody who's not coming we on We canceled the- Jay LaFar today. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. no, he'd be he'd be great to mix with you guys. That's um, interesting. And I've never seen his comedy set, just from what everybody tells me. Oh, really? I've never seen. I've wow. done comedy events with him, but I've never seen his actual stand-up comedy, and I get shit on for that. I like, probably saw his comedy set 12 years ago. Really? It was a long time ago when I first saw Jay Lafar. I know he's been doing it. He does a lot of shit. Like he does music sometimes mm-hmm. with it. I, I have respect for him as comedian wise. Mm-hmm. Um I just have never watched him. Um so I've never done a show show with him. John Stringer this uh, the same night. You know who John Stringer is? That dude's fucking funny, man. I think he's still does I think he's, he's on still cruise around. ships now. Yeah, he's okay. he, but he, oh, he goes on cruise ships. We're bringing him. Oh, is he is it official? About ninety percent, yeah. Nice. We're just waiting on his because um, he's gonna be here when? August or September. September. He's a singer. No, comedian. Just put in comedian. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. I think I have him on Facebook. Yeah, Victor Mendoza is bringing in. Okay. To upstate. Oh, that's right. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. if you're bringing... Uh, yeah, I've, a lot of these people... Like, you'll even bring up oh, people like, that I don't know their name, and then it's like, oh, we're friends on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I've had that... I'm so used to that just from, like... Like, just from networking to try to, like, see what's going on and what's hot, you know? Um, oh, but, yeah. uh, hold on. What were we talking about? Uh, John Stringer. Um, fucking Michelle Cantu. Are you doing it or not? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I will put it this. Uh, I'll um, put it this way. Mary kill, uh, smash. Fuck Mary kill. Fuck, fuck Mary kill. kill. But who's the other two? Is it just all Michelle <laughs> Cantu? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one would you do? Michelle <laughs> Cantu, Tracy Mitchelson, and Patrick Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, honestly. I fuck, but it wouldn't count as the fuck. Tracy and then Killer. Um, Michelle Cantu. I would. Fuck. Mary wait, kill. did you both? Wait, wait, wait. It's fuck Mary Kill. Hold on, no, that's so a hard one marry, to do. Then you marry Michelle. I have to marry Michelle. She's I have to marry Michelle. She cheat on you. I would. She would. It wouldn't last. <laughs> no. And go, uh, go. I would probably fuck and then kill Tracy, and then I just just for kicks would have to fuck go. Badger Christopher just because <laughs> it's a dude. And I'm sure, I don't think he's ever had gay sex before, and we'll t- we'll show him the ways. Wow. By the way, thank you for having me on your podcast. Uh, thank you. <laughs> but uh, damn, yeah. I didn't think you were going that route. But you switched it up. Which, what in a nice way or in a? Or did you a sexy go way? fuck my? Um, wait, did you say you would fuck Patrick Christopher? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd fuck him because he's probably never done it before, and That's... I will do fucking anything once. So, yikes! Love that for you. Thank you. I love that for you. You've never, you've never watched <laughs> porn. You can, you can't even say love, like I support that. You did on, on this podcast. It. She has. Wait, wait, wait. So you lied. No, I no. watched it when I was like younger. It's like it was like a very small window because I I found out about porn. And then, like, a couple months later, I went to CCD class, and they were like, porn's a thing. See, this is... And then, boom, I never watched it. It's been, like, what, So, we, years? we had her look up Chatterbait on, on one of our episodes, right? And she didn't know what it was... You know what that is, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's pretty so much it, what it is is you go on there, you're either a video game nerd or you're jacking off to random people. So video like, game nerd. Isn't that There's what, no video games on there. Isn't there fucking Zero video game bitches video on there? Games. Like no. Chatter- no. Well Twitch so Twitch is just the new chatterbait. Twitch. Chatterbait really? is just, uh, pretty so much. So you can get X rated on Twitch? No. 
Oh. Oh, wait. I'll, I've been fucking up big time. I, I, I've been wasting my money. <laughs> He's like, I've been banned on five accounts. <laughs> Um, How do you know these things? Because I, I have a Twitch account. Amazon And you owns read them. the fucking terms and conditions. <laughs> but the game no, on Chatterbait used to be just you click next and see and count how many times and like 20 people, how many of them are people are dicks masturbating, right? Wasn't that like the game back in the day? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, that's... Nope, that wasn't the game. <laughs> the game was you oh. go to females and... <laughs> and you jack off. Yes. <laughs> so, so I've seen your penis probably. <laughs> You ever see the two feet, the two dudes dressed as girl streamers? I, I think one now is is like is uh, goes by they them. But the other one is just a dude that, that dresses up as girls. He's gay, but he just goes on there just to try to trick dudes into thinking he's a girl. And it's these two that are trying to play a joke on men, but they both hit each other and it's mm-hmm. silent. And they're like, one dude like dressed up as a girl goes, "Why the fuck you so ugly, bro?" And they just won't die. You never seen that video? No. Oh, it's a classic. It's a classic. That's a ch- that's from Chatter. Seventy five percent of yeah. my mind is going on behind this curtain. No, I'm thinking the right chat now. roulette. Chatterbait is the, um, is strictly. Yes, sex. I think I was like, you're completely thinking yeah. of something I'm different of right something now. Non-sexual. So I'm checked out because yeah. kids are driving me fucking oh. crazy, and the kid, the dog. Um, rough, but, rough, baby. Yes. That so we had her look it up, right? <laughs> and um, you've seen it. Though? What, Chatter? Now that you know what you're talking about? I mean, I've watched okay. plenty of porn that I've seen right, advertised. All right, cool. Like, um, so she, everything comes up. And she's like, oh, no. And she X's it out immediately. And we're like, <laughs> what just happened? And she's like, I don't watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> like, Ever since <laughs> Sister Mary back in sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was porn. So, I thought it was. But why did you exit out? Yeah, I was just got really scared <laughs> she, when she, I saw just, that girl's butthole. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Oh, weird. Yeah. We, there were several options. Don't to bring me at. around your sister anymore. I will corrupt the fuck out no, of No, this podcast you, is doing I damn will, well at that. I'll have her doing. I'll have her doing cocaine and uh and you know fucking flashing her boobs off the I ten. Oh, so. <laughs> Not I ten. My dad lives right there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, Papa. I'm free. <laughs> I'm with a white man. <laughs> And no. he's not raping me. <laughs> <laughs> you liking it so far? Yeah. It's gonna get so much fucking it's worse. Funny. But you've been on. You've been with us for what a month already? Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Something oh, like four that. Four episodes. I don't know. I want you to look something up Since right now. Um, we're gonna have to bleep it out if it not showed on the screen. But I just want you to see something. <laughs> look up uh, eating cereal out of girls' ass. No. <laughs> 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 no. With milk. Yeah. She was like, well, Ryan Gosling? I've done that before. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, Ryan Gosling. You're serious. <laughs> no, I'm scared. No, we're gonna ru- I'm going to ruin everything for you. Dude, what did you think about um, the Trixie episode? I only watched part of it because you got. So here's the thing I have an attention span of less than an hour, and then my phone dies. Uh, um, I, and I only jack, it only takes me about 10 minutes to get to full jack off. So like, even if I'm, that's like soft. So once I jacked off, I was done, yeah. but, uh, I think you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, but she, dude, she is so proud and happy for you guys in this episode. I can't get her to shut up about it every time I see her. She's oh, like, really? oh my God, so much fun with them. I love blah, blah, blah. I love blah, blah, blah. She says she loved you. Fuck. And she's like, I showed them how to do this and that. They're so much fun. But then I got on there and then what uh, What was the thing she said was spicy? Sounds spicy. Oh, guava. <laughs> oh, that's the whitest guava. fucking <laughs> shit I've ever heard. I, that's why I'm like, I took my headphones and I threw them down. I'm like, bitch, like you're making us look she's bad. Like, guava. Like, <laughs> Sounds spicy. Because she's from Texas. <laughs> like I get it if she was from like Canada. She's Canadian. from fucking Texas. Canadian. Like, what the fuck? That's badass because she's um, uh, got her nipples pierced or whatever. Oh yeah, that's cool. No, but she's um talking about us, and I think that's a good thing because I feel like our podcast is different than a lot of other ones. As far as we just kick the shit, you know what I mean, and it's like natural to us. Yeah. Where other ones kind kind of seem like they're, you know, what do you mean? So, so, so I like it's just all. a bunch of friends like jagging each other off. Yeah, right. and it's, then ours it's, it's are kind of circle jerk. Bro. Ours are like interviews, but also conversations, and it's like having a friend there. But it's and we have no horse in the race. You know what I mean? So like, yeah. we treat everybody the same. So I think that's also different. I got a few whores in my race. Horses, oh, horses, horses, and not your dick either. What <clears throat> <laughs> um, <laughs> I what I thought was cool was Michelle Can too was like, oh, this is not a comedy 
like on purpose podcast? Like this is not what y'all, she, cause she's like, so y'all just let the guests like, y'all just talk and <laughs> like, yeah. It's just a conversation. She's like, I'm used to real. But she, <laughs> no, no she thought it was like, here's what I'm, we're going to do. Like, yeah. we're going to be funny here. We're going to, I guess she thought like, this is, we're going to hit this mark. We're going to hit that. And I even tried like, to no. prep her. Oh, I told really? her, I said, go in, mm-hmm. not expecting fucking anything, but like yeah. a, cr- a crazy shit. I'm like, and it will, you will have the time of your life. And she and said, we did, man. And I want to smack her for her mm-hmm. saying like, oh, this is, a, bitch, I fucking told you. I'm like, mm-hmm. go in. I'm like, forget anything ethics wise. Don't be afraid. Like, is that what makes you want to smack women? Oh, all the time. Bro. Wow. No, smacking women, it's when, when they burn the ethical. fucking meatloaf. That one. Oh, Mom, sorry. meatloaf. Mom, <laughs> fucking meatloaf. But I, I tried telling her, because I'm like, it's going to be like, they're going to love you. Just don't. This isn't, because she gets paid. She like she just did yesterday. She hosted a conference. She's, yeah. She was hosting like this <clears throat> H conference. So she's being like, like by the book and shit. I'm like, and I'm trying to tell him like, this is like your fucking hanging out, having fun, getting drunk. Yeah. And oh, you she, know, and then you're going to sleep she with up. rich afterward. You know, it's, it's just like the, <laughs> yeah, well. that's pretty much what happened. <laughs> she let loose though, man. And uh, these guys were crying. Yeah. I told you. Was she was so funny, dude. dude, at one so point, funny. I swear to God, like my eyes were full yeah. of tears and I was like, I can't get them out. <laughs> that's when I was like, I need a tissue because I couldn't get them out. I and she like, does that on stage all funny. the fucking time, bro. She, she's the one, she can come up with anything. She, she did a, she did a conference one day or they just had like this work meet where they went to like downtown <laughs> hotel and just drank German beers and she came in leader hose. Oh, yeah. She came from work event and did 45 minutes mm-hmm. bullshitting on the day. Something that would be a boring story from anybody. Like it'd be hard to find anybody to make that funny. And she made it fucking hilarious to the point of crying. So I, that's why I give her props. She's my favorite comedian in Texas. I don't give a fuck about anyone else. I tell, I'm like, there's other comedians that are funny, but she is the one that you definitely, you're going to want to save that episode because it's going to, you're going to be like, you saw it here First, folks, you know, like she's she's doing big shit. Dang. What do you think about Matt Rife being a better white comedian than you? Does that piss you off? Oh yeah. That's a better body too. That's the that's the part I'm more mad at. Like it looks like he got surgery done on his face to look like sexy squidward, you know. Like I can't stand him. I personally I give sexy him a problem. Like, you can't stand him? Is that what you said? You can't stand him? I don't like like his so his type of comedy to me is like the it's it just reminds me of every young age white dude I see at open mics and I give him props. He's doing right. He knows how to market it. Right. I just don't like him. I think, I think what it, he's more popular for is with the ladies because he's on TikTok <laughs> videos flirting with the women. Like that's more like, Oh, it's funny. He's hitting on an older woman. I'm like, I, you know, like what the fuck are you searching for? What Matt Rife glow up? What is that? Yeah, and then Matt so Rife. But look yeah. at yeah, 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 yeah. Is that what that means? He's had work done. So it's yeah, like, he's had, he's had oh, has he had work done? Show, show that, that fourth, third photo right there. Look at that. That's how he originally, that's him. Yeah, he has like a huge gap. He had a huge gap. Wait, play the video? Because that, that's, a, that's a screenshot of him making oh, a, a That's him face. at Laugh Factory. Maybe it's not. Uh, like and the, so it's like I respect them. big so body bears. Remember I used See, to be dusty. That was a screenshot big of him making bears, an ugly Remember face. I used to be dusty. You think I need to be funny? It's a fucking waste of my time, to be honest. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Look at the, he's so had, he's leaning into the fucking. Yeah. Uh, he's had he's had something done with his lips. Rocks, would you fuck him? Rocks. <laughs> Why did you take so long to think about it? Like, because I actually think seriously. Could I picture him on top of me, and then I'm like, mm, I actually can't. What if he had a dented mattress? <gasps> no. I mean, <laughs> I yeah. Do, I can't do that again. I've seen who you'd fuck. <laughs> I know, right? Um, so are you in you're so you're in a white too, so yeah. No, actually no. I never fucked a white. Wow. I never fucked a white. Never fucked a white. <laughs> well she has um, she can't say But he's funny. Guy. Like he's he's actually yeah. fucking funny. He's funny. Mm-hmm. I like Do you watch him? I watch his TikToks. I don't yeah. I don't watch a like like his crowd like, work is funny. Well yeah. that's all this that's all I've seen on his TikToks. Yeah. But it's usually like it's 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 the it's the trendy shit that I normally see, and that's why I'm just like, okay. Props, like, if I was, like, if I met the love of my life, she wanted to go see Matt Rife, mm-hmm. I'd take her. But I would not go see him otherwise. But I also, like, even my favorite bands come yeah. Would you open for him? I mean, in a heartbeat. I'd probably open for fucking anybody that was famous. Would like, you admit you were hating if you were? Oh, of course. I'd okay, hate cool. on him on stage. 
I'll do it. Because <laughs> he's good looking. Fuck him. Like, Go to know. all. It's, he's, like, stop looking at his fucking sexy pictures. Let's look at some comedy from this motherfucker. How old do you have mm. to be to go to, oh, to go to my house? I just don't like, I don't like in the beauty yeah, standard world. Yeah, go to his world. TikTok. I, don't, I, I have a lot of just, I don't like people get work done. Um, you don't like successful people? He said all he got done was his teeth and that the rest is puberty. He said that? Look yeah. at his fucking puberty? jaw struck. Look at his jaw. When you, when you puberty. use puberty as the excuse, your bones, that's a lie. Your bones don't fucking don't reform know, in your in your face it's like that from that puberty. It's not bad. It's kind of just like he just he just. So my so my up. sisters had work done, and I see the differences, and it, it's your it, sister. My, yeah, my, my sister. She's she's got a lot of money. She lives here in San Antonio. She's had work done. Can we get her on the pod? She wouldn't talk to y'all folks. She barely talks to me. I don't need her to talk. No, she. But it's not like that. <laughs> it's nothing like she didn't get here. She had like facial. I work don't know. Done. Why do you say it like that though? But I think she would talk to us. I think, I think you give just us the time said it like that to discourage us heavily. Yeah. We got to know who the funniest uh, what if we, what person if, in the family is. What, what if, if it's not even you? What if the BFR podcast slid into her? Because we have our own profile on Facebook now. Right? Yeah, it's yeah. not him. It's not yeah. him. It's not me. It's not her. Maybe. Give it a shot. Just the BFR just, podcast. You, it won't go the way you think. Well, I know, my, I know my, my sister used to beat my ass. Hey, I'm it's like, us fucks. <laughs> us fucks here. Um, we were wondering if. <laughs> but I'm just, but she got a nose job recently, right? And like, and it's. Damn, I can, sis. I'm just saying like, there's shit that like, and like, I see the people get point out who's had work done. Like I had a yeah. friend from uh, Mo, uh, Moldova who had work done and like on her face and shit like that. Like your bones don't fucking, they like. Growing pains don't happen in your face like that. Like his So you think really, he did hold on. But if you look at him on Wild and Out, he didn't have the fucking like he kinda still had that structure. But it, look it, at his Wild and Out with uh, Zendaya. It could be too, like you lose weight and you, you your face does. See, like he still he has that. He's uh, probably on steroids. I think he's had more he's he's had steroids more. Or uh, I don't think sir. I think he's had more work done on the face. Other than okay, then while you're holding up, it and then y'all doing the mad right thing. Oh shit, I gotta talk to Rich while y'all go. <laughs> Well, we had to fucking talk no, to I, Rich while you went. I, I, I had a question for me. So we'll ask him when you get back. Yeah, but wait, 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 wait. Look, this is how you walk out. Oh, nope, that's how you walk <laughs> out. He did not knock any shit over. <laughs> but real quick, he's dating a Ukrainian. He knows a Moldova girl. How many fucking European bitches is he, is he working spy. with? I want to know how European his sister is. Like, is it wax or not? Is that a European thing? Yeah, but Europeans don't wax, right? If she lets you, are you a peeing on her? Oh, I'm peeing all over her. I'm like, hey, Mace, I peed on your sister. I, I can't wrap my head around the peeing on people thing. What? It's a power thing. Yeah, what what is the the European European Can you wrap your foreskin around it? No, probably. Um, but like, That's disgusting. do you do it in the restroom or do you do it in the bed? Like, do you like put the plastic on the bed or? Interesting story, Rich. It did, oh, like, no. yeah, how is that sexual? Wait, I have I have an update in my work life. You've never knocked somebody out and then pissed on them? No. Loser. <laughs> well, I always say like, like, because I have a best, well, he's like a good friend and he's gay and he fucks straight guys, right? So I'm always like, that's like, Rich. He's like yeah, but they're just like in the closet. Well, I found out one of my coworkers did that to a straight guy who's in a relationship. And I was like, dude, I feel like this happens like more than... I don't know. Like this happens like a lot. Oh, it does. That's what. Adrian how was often saying. do like? But the, um, how often do your friends that are girls mess around with your other friends that are girls? Like, does that happen often? Um, only when it feels drunk. like it does. Right, the way girls act with each other. Girls act like they I fuck each other to all every the time. Girl, I know. Every girl I, I know is done. I think they right? are get drunk and they make out, but I, I just have, have you go have you ever had that. sex with a girlfriend? Yeah. Why would you ask your sister that? You fucking weirdo. I was a lesbian for like eight yeah, years. You know, yeah, she was a lesbian. Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. I'm just saying. That's how you figure it out. Huh? Oh, no. I'm just like, I wonder what- You're driving home, be? by the way, because I'm going to drink another one of Fuck these. That. You're going to need it. it. Bro, we should pour questions. shots uh, after, like, after a bit and just fucking do a shot game of- uh, Russian roulette where we get a fucking gun. We put- Did y'all bring any food for me to try? <laughs> Shit, no, uh -uh. no, because it, you I weren't telling us. Though. I was trying to get. I don't need to tell you, Beak. Well, he threw something out. And you're like, no, no. I'm yeah, y'all are trying to get this big canceled immediately. I didn't say not to bring it. Uh, uh, I just said you might cancel. Well, get I didn't want to get it canceled. I'll I'll I do want to start make her dip. Well, you know. Which oh, one? okay. Let's do this. Just you can bring a chicken sandwich, no, no, but, but, and that'll still be fucking on the edge for me. No, I want to know how how bad is this? It's like, picking. Yeah, yeah. So okay, check it out. It is called um, selective you, eating disorder. Do you like, have bean and cheese? Just look it up. Do you eat bean and cheese tacos? No. I will eat is bean and cheese texture? easy, though. Oh. Okay. You've never seen him at Thanksgiving? <clears throat> that's all. Yeah, but that's 
Thanksgiving food, oh, bro. I don't, yes, I don't right there. Really that one. The first one. Yes. Food. Okay. So according to the Mayo Clinic, right? It's Is this a, real or you, di- yeah, you diagnose has to yourself? Be. Yeah. It's self-diagnosed. Um, has to be. Uh, da-da, da-da, that's not it. It's Anorexia. Oh, no. I don't. So, I don't oh, throw up. I don't do any of that shit. Oh, of course I'm not alone. But. I knew a girl with anorexia. She can't read for shit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what we're looking for. I'm just looking for the fucking yeah, Google. So it says avoidance based on sensory characteristics of food. Is that why you don't like So it's it? a texture thing or? Yeah. Is it texture There's or taste? There's a better explanation. I just don't have a good Googler at the moment. No, but but is it is it taste or is it texture for you? Because I don't depends. give a fuck what that says. I want to know what you it think. It depends. On it what? It just depends on what, what it is. If it's yeah. slimy. Right, for what if it's it slimes? Out. All right. Um, the other day, my girl was trying to get me to try these crackers. His girl, ladies and gentlemen. My girl. Oh. My Oh, this girl I'm talking to. Um, they're crackers, right? Mm-hmm. They're just crackers. Tasteless fucking crackers. What I told her was that they taste like I was getting my communion. Um, uh-huh. But she put this white fucking... Had garlic. I like garlic, but it, it was white. I don't know. It, when it's white, I'm like, Ugh. I'm see, like, I'm I'm the same way with white shit though. I don't like I don't like like I don't like like mayo ranch and, and like uh, sour wow. cream all that shit. He don't like himself. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, don't they, like, I fucking hate. They really he's lack the, he's culture. The opposite, don't they? Uh, he, he's the opposite of Tyrone Biggums. <laughs> oh. just yeah, no, people. it's something about it being white. I don't Ugh. right, but it's that right for that. It's that for onions. It's biting into them. Ugh but I love the taste of onions. Like the flavor that onions give to fajitas food. and yeah. the food, any food, it's delicious. But it's this, it's, um, there's a better explanation and it, there's a lot of factors to it. Do you like it. burgers? And, yeah, but not how cheese. How do you make them? Yeah, how so do you make the burger? It's just, just, just the burger with mustard on it. Nothing else on it. It's growing up, we just called that being a picky eater. Right, son. exactly. Yes, <laughs> 100%. Yeah, 100%. A like, but that's what I've always said about myself, right? Is it, it's, I'm a picky eater, but this is way beyond picky. How do you feel about cilantro? And like, oh, no, dude. It, and, and especially like even if I bite into it, like with the mini tacos, like no cilantro. And if there's some on there, you know, and it's just it a little It does crunch. throw off the taste a little bit. What does it mm. taste like to you? Does it taste like? The taste is fine. It's okay, not overbearing. So it's not a soap thing. Okay. There's, oh. a, there's, a, there's a genetic thing that makes it taste Yeah, my soul. brother supposedly has really? it. Really? I don't yeah. believe him. I don't believe him either. What? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, my brother says that he's one of like the small percent that tastes yeah. cilantro and it tastes like soap. And I don't fucking tastes believe like him. Soap. No, um, it's just uh, what I've always tried. It's, it's annoying as fuck what it is. Have it's you ever like, tried cum? Yeah, I mean, it's white. We've established it's this. It's, so it, but it was the like fourth, it? it was the fourth jerk off. Oh, so at that point, water. it was water. Mm, true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine what else would be in it. Is like, it the phone? Like Can I get a cam check? Chunk of rice yeah, like comes out in it or something. Um, no, nah, it's weird, but it's annoying, right? Because like dating, yeah, I kind of don't try shit. So she's like, "Let's go to have sushi." I'm like, <laughs> you don't like sushi? No, because the rice is there. You go. There you go. There's, there's. Oh, also, there's, like, so we can we, there's a new bit we're fucking planning on doing. Is is. Cause I won't try food. I will not oh. fucking try food. Like I won't. <laughs> Bringing something new for you. So how do you feel about fish though in general? Nope. At all? Even salmon? Mm-hmm. Tuna? Salmon's not white. It's red. Nope. Or pink. I like mahi, fish mahi. sticks. Nah. What are <laughs> you, gay <laughs> fish? <laughs> <laughs> I like fish sticks and tuna fish. Actually, and that's fish the sticks only is seafood. white in the middle though. Yeah. That's, that's still a Rapper slash genius. But it's crunchy <laughs> on the outside. But it's crunchy, right? And there's not too much like to get through. And like, but like fish fillets, oh, uh, there's too much fish to work with. just a big fish stick. It's too much. <laughs> right. But it's more mush, yeah. right? Because it's thicker. Oh. So <laughs> how the fuck? Dude, it's fucking weird. How are you alive? <laughs> so um, how do you eat pizza? I eat a lot. Huh? How do you eat tuna then? Just straight out the can? No, I put, um, and I don't no, like mayonnaise. I don't like mayonnaise. It, it is white, but I mix a little bit of mayonnaise in there. And it's then white. I eat the sandwich and then I'll put for the crunch. I'll just put like some chips in there. Like some but Doritos. The white. I feel that. <laughs> no, it's white <laughs> sauce. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. Aren't you? Like gravy? Buffalo sauce? Nope. Ranch? Spicy? Nope. You should do the barbecue fucking, sauce. Did nope. you tell him about our uh, wing challenge we wanted to do? Oh, yeah. We want to do the hot ones. We yeah. All this- I'll beat all of you. Really? I 100%. Mean, we've done it. Like karaoke before. or like really beat? 
<laughs> what are I, we talking I, about? I mean, like I, I went to a, there's a brewery up on the north, on the north, uh, more northern west side, kind of towards La Cantera, that they have Reaper ring, wings. I ate them bitches like no problem. I eat hot shit like a motherfucker. Uh, I think I would be close to one. Let, I love spicy. Let's shit. talk about your L you took to beans on karaoke last time you were here. Oh, how, did that feel? how, oh, how have you re- how have you recovered? Have you done karaoke ever since? Did it send you back into depression? Is what I'm. Oh, it did. I think it did. <laughs> I instantly was like, right then, I switched right away, and I was like, build a wall, like. <laughs> <laughs> Keep these motherfuckers. Oh, out you're here. gonna fucking. You're gonna. You're gonna Damn. Uh, are we going for round two? All well, right. I, I I can't sing Vachette, bro. I can't. I I, I haven't learned. What are you doing? Of. What are we doing? You I would have it. to do uh, your pick. I picked the last one. Oh mm. shit. Well, I just clicked. I would have to do country in order Ooh, to. Thank you for country, baby. Thank y'all for moving away from that subject. <laughs> By the way, um, oh, did it make you uncomfortable, dude? No, it didn't. I I uh, actually um. Over it. It's probably just there's no funny bits. I'm not over it. I actually. Um, in the recent years, I've been saying, oh shit, this is a disorder. Mm-hmm. Before, I'm just like, I'm just fucking picky. Deal with it, guys. Yeah. Right? And it doesn't really bother, like, now I can laugh about it. Now it's funny to me. Before, when I wouldn't, when I would just be like, I'm just picky, I would hate when people fucking would bring it up. Yeah. Well, um, but part of the coping is fat shaming, right? Yeah. <laughs> is I, that's a, it's kind of like, okay, I'll give it back then. I'll start giving it back. Um, yeah. Do you think that maybe... Some of it could have changed because you're older now that you can actually, you might be able to attempt this. I, no. You were, you able, no. no. I, I think when the food's going to be here, you'll see. When when the food's here, you no, will see what older, the fuck it is. you're more set in your ways. Yeah. 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 Right. So, exactly. Yeah, but, I don't think you'd open up. But there's, there's something called CBT, cognitive uh, behavior therapy, mm-hmm. that they say that helps with this. Like it's a real fucking thing. Mm-hmm. And, um, and it's due to trauma. Um, due to fucking, uh, you know, being picky as a kid and them letting you do that, that that's what I was. Like I was a kid and my mom would be like, no, leave him alone. He's picking. So it's funny you what say all that get. about the CBT. Um, mm-hmm. I was supposed to go through that. I don't think I opened it. Did I tell you guys I, I suffer a mental illness? Yes, you did. Okay. Yeah. So no, we got it though. No, you didn't have to tell yeah, us. Yeah, we, we, oh, we well, got no, no, it. No, I, I said that off of you. I, uh, Wanting so, to come back showed that you had a mental <laughs> illness. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, we haven't had a guest back. So <laughs> I, we've I, asked. So me and my, my sister alike, we both, we are we're diagnosed sister. with what? Yes. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. <laughs> It's not Are so you, cool when it happens. To how you, do you huh? think I look? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say white? You're white. <laughs> Pasty. I'm a red. Kind of red. Right, right. So, uh, but uh, so see, I suffered something, but that was one of the therapies they're trying to get uh, put mm-hmm. put on me was uh, with the CBT. But they mm-hmm. were introducing something you put holding in your hands. It was mm-hmm. for traumas. Mm-hmm. Was to um, is to like it's supposed to not shock you, like like not hurtful, but it's supposed to like mm-hmm. do some sort of like shocking to like wait like. I don't know, something weird and I was not down for it because really? it I would some be kind of your yeah it was, it's supposed to like go through your traumas and yeah. shit I'm like eh like no oh, I'm like I, I'm like I blacked this shit out for a reason so I'm like yeah but you gotta get past like I think that's part, that's part of it um, do you think it's trauma though like was I, there it's part him? of it yeah. so like yeah, I've always, what I've, I've kind of said this, like, um, what started it was like, I remember being in elementary and they wouldn't let me leave the fucking lunchroom until I ate the peas. There were Yo, the peas that I left on the dinner table. Yeah. Home, and I was son. like, I'm not going to eat the peas. Like, fuck no, I'm not going to eat the peas. And they wouldn't, like, they called my mom oh, and they were like, dude. he's not going to eat the peas. And she's like, he's not going to eat the peas. Bro, you go to I had too? to eat, huh? Were you no, Catholic? dude. I was um, a fucking public school. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Robert E. Lee. Dude, that's, um, fuck. dude, that yeah, makes dude. me sad, bro. Um, that's fucked up. But then, like, Makes my sense. stepdad, my sister's dad, um, he would be like, you, you don't get up. Nobody, like, nobody could get up from the table until they ate the food. If they didn't eat the food, so if everybody got up and everybody would always get up. I remember, dude, like, having fucking food in my cheek and being like, I can't swallow it and I can't yeah. spit it out. Like, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, like, I remember. And so then if you were the last one at the table, you kneeled in the corner. Like until you fell asleep and you couldn't fall asleep. So if you started falling asleep or you had to be kneeling like with your legs up, you couldn't like sit on your, on your, yeah, on your legs. This yeah. is called growing up Catholic. That's what, that's what I this guess. is. Cause I had the same shit, not the kneeling shit, uh-huh. but like we like growing up, there was a, a point in time in my childhood when uh-huh. I was with my mom that like, it was strict as fuck. And it was one of those like, like we don't have, like, this is the food you're going to get. You better eat mm. fucking everything I give you. Cause it's not going anywhere else. You will never get offered anything. You will starve, blah, blah, blah. Like yeah. we, we would be grounded or something. What's well, like a good go. median for that? Cause well, my kids don't ever finish their the, fucking the, yeah, food. There's yeah. a good median. There's like for, for Alex, um, Alex will eat anything. Right. And I'm like, that's what worried me. I was like, how the fuck am I going to get him to not be like me? Yeah. Um, and it was, I would make shit I didn't like. 
And then I and then I say you can try it if you want. If you don't want, you don't have to. But if you if you do, man, you're gonna love so much food if you just try these things. And dude, he craves salad. And I, I don't fucking understand that at all. You don't like salads? No. See, not I, at all. I craved it once. Oh. Once I got out of the house because I was forced to eat, but not good. Not like good salad. It was like the there's not ass one. Just such a thing. I love dude. I, <laughs> I eat spinach. I go through like bags of spinach oh. like a motherfucker. But when I became an adult. I crave it now. Same with like I, I grew up on beans and cornbread growing up. I hated it. Like when I was a kid, got an adult that shit that I was forced to eat, like that I hated. I crave like a motherfucker now. You like, might I'm have like, an I iron deficiency though. No, no, I get plenty of fucking iron. Rich, do you like salads? <laughs> yeah. Do you? But here's the thing, like, because there's the inverse of what he's talking about, and because I suffer from that, I know you're gonna give me some fat shit for it, but no, 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 I'm like, just trying to hear your no, honest thinking, opinion. Feel, like, oh, okay, go ahead. If, yeah. Have you? Do you ever feel guilty leaving food on your plate? Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's yes. a no real fucking trauma. Me, I don't. I'm good with it. I'm like whatever. Yeah, but sometimes I find myself overeating because I need to fucking clear right. that plate because yes, you were told you were told like you were kids told in China should be our kids. No, yes. I went the other way. Yeah, I went the other way with it. And then, like you said, when I became an adult. I was like, fuck y'all. I don't got to eat what I don't want to eat. And then it just got reinforced more and more when people would be like, what do you, what do you, we don't, why, why do you always order a burger? Everywhere we go, you always order a burger. I'm like, cause you can't fuck up a burger. I'm like, why the fuck <laughs> yeah, you are can, you? you I, I'm up like, up I don't know what the fuck you're ordering at every restaurant. Yeah. I haven't been keeping tabs, you know, and things like that. But um, yeah, in recent, in recent, uh, the recent past, I'm like, this is a disorder. And then my, um, Alex's girlfriend was like, she came one day and she's like, I know what you have. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Eight? What? Huh? <laughs> she's like, come in here. You just look down this, at your dick. It was this thing. Hanging, I was like, oh, hanging oh, out? <laughs> <laughs> they found me out. Um, and then she told me and I read it. And I was like, that's it. I was like, 100%. Every fucking thing about it is is it. And so if I'm going to be giving him shit, you know what I'm, I'm, about his weight? Um, part of it was when the girl that I'm talking to mentioned that to me. Um, Got it. Uh, she was like, it would be a cool skit. Like you won't try shit, right? But do it on the podcast. And you know, it's just cause you make funny faces. So it's going to be hilarious just to see you that not would be good, like the food you try. We're going to have to go down. Like, like you're going to have to How about wings? Do you like wings? No, but I'll, but I'll try them. Well, let's try wings. Those are easy. That's an yeah. easy thing. I swear to yeah. God, if you spend the next hour asking them each different food. Dude, I, like, could. I, I know. Try yeah, it's going to say no. I swear to God. Yeah. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> how about zebras? Good. Good. Keep asking. No. So, no, so I was wondering how I could get them to leave. I was thinking, right? So we battle both. So we battle both y'all's issues. You eat the wing and you re- I watch you regurgitate a wing. <laughs> huh? So we just give him anorexia. Oh, 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 that's yeah. bulimia. bulimia. We give him bulimia. bulimia. Yeah, yeah, I was talking that's about bulimia. bulimia. I thought you were the fucking smart person, you dumb bitch. That'd be hilarious. As you see him get skinner, you see me get fatter <laughs> <laughs> every episode. And then when we level off, we stop. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> if I'll get to a median where y'all are the same size. <laughs> That'd be fucking hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) So yeah, do that. Do that on the next step. Just bring him, but like famous food items. Not like, don't bring him fucking, don't bring him like this. Chicharrones fucking what? (laughs) Preparados? Preparados? What what the fuck? I was saying pickles and chamoy. I'll eat that. That's not even, I'm not picking. He's Mexican, bro. Come on. (laughs) But no, I don't, most. I'm I'm working on an Alamo candy. Spicy shit. I won't eat spicy shit. No, bring him like, go go to like the stereotypical restaurants and get him like a main, like a main course item. What do you eat at Chick-fil-A? I don't. Oh, bring him some Chick Fil A. I keep ordering a hamburger and they won't give it to me. <laughs> it's Listen, on learn it by bringing him something new. I'm not time. gay, dude. What the <laughs> fuck, man? I keep telling you this. So then you should eat it. <laughs> oh, I don't eat Chick Fil A. Damn it, I got found out. <laughs> Why? I'm a terrible liar. <laughs> Why am I so? Why am I so jittery? <laughs> oh, oh, that might be the shit um, that they gave you. And then put fishbowl in there. Put fishbowl in there. Are you drink drink alcohol? You'll feel so much better. Yes. Are you not drinking? Put fishbowl. Speaking of, can I point this out? I'm gonna. I'm, the name's not gonna show, but there's a cup here from an. Uh, officer here in San Antonio's <laughs> retirement party, and mm-hmm. it's a to-go gift. And can I point out that there's some moonshine ass booze in here with a note on it that says "One for the Road" <laughs> at a cop's retirement party, <laughs> and I really want us to drink it. It's Crown Royal. Is well, it Crown? It looks like Crown. Well, how no else way. are you supposed to keep them in business, bud? I just yeah, it's I'm like, true. <laughs> but like they're Job fucking security, baby. at a cop's party. Let me see this. Time to get arrested. Oh, time to give it a rest. Ha, 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 ha. Time to get a rest. Oh, that's what ah, time to give it a rest. That's hilarious. Why did they give makeup remover wipes? 
they gave it, makeup re- remover wipes. Yeah. Who wants to shoot the for the strip club? Interesting. Who wants to shoot these? Rich is definitely gonna shoot one with you. That is interesting. Yeah, since he's not gonna drive. What the fuck, San Antonio? You know there is only like ninety. Uh, I think there's only like ninety active duty San Antonio city police officers in the city of San Antonio. Really? Supposedly, some it's a we could take them. Li- no, yeah. you could take them. How many should- people are in your gang? <laughs> wow. We definitely. Are yeah. Y'all gonna take, take the shot? shot or Don't you- do that. Yeah. Y'all, they need to take a shot. Speaking of you. shots. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Hurry up. Back. <laughs> All right. To uh, to my boy right here. Her rich. Fucking. Slancha Saloon. You better down that motherfucker. Go 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 go. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You spit all over my equipment. This is for all the Blue Lives Again. Murder people. Wait, was it Crown? Uh, yeah, it I think Crown. it might have been either that or it was Jim Beam. Uh, Holy shit! Actually, I think it might have been Jim Beam, and they just made it look like Crown. I yeah, have, I don't have a D. Fuck yeah! Don't like worry, your bro. mic is clean. I know. <laughs> I'm just worried about you. Ah. Might come back up. Nope. Oh, no. Once it goes down, it don't come back up for you, right? Nope. So you used to be a lesbian, or you just don't date women anymore? Hey, hey, hey. Our eyes are up yeah. here, buddy. Oh, hold on. I'm We're curious. up here. She just <laughs> Googled her. I'm so, right. So did you go to She's not even camp? supposed to be here. No. <laughs> supposed to. I just stopped no. one day. You just stopped. I just, <laughs> she I did legit right. just stop. She was like, like fucking lesbian. You realize day. bitches talk Bro, too much, right? check this out. They don't shut the fuck We up. had a whole fucking Vegas trip, and she's like, yeah, I don't think I want to be with her anymore. I said, bro, you just bought bought two fucking plane tickets to go to Vegas. Like, Damn, you should have called me. Oh, no. You were about to get married, weren't you? You got cold feet, bitch, didn't oh. you? Don't. I was about to My get bad. married one time, but she was a crackhead. No, I can't. Taken. She, got she was white, wasn't she? Two- yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said you never slept with a white. She said not well, white she guy. Half, no, she, she said the whites. Yeah. She was- half, wait. I think her mom was white. Yeah, her, I think her mom was You like never had a white penis? Mm-mm. Our white vagina. Not this yet. is yeah. She made Not that yet. face. Not yet. Do you think? What do you think? Hey. White penises look like for you to make that face? Yeah, because they're red on the tip, right? <laughs> if, you, if you're fucking smacking the shit out of it, maybe I don't know. Like that's what I've heard. Maybe you'll if you find out later. Porn, you would know what they look like. Like, yeah. a, <laughs> like a dog when they're happy, right? Ew. Wait, Ew. have you ever been with a circumcised uh, penis? No, that's super uh, red. What is that one? That's a cut one. That's a cut. Yeah. yeah. What is that yes. one? Okay. Well, I asked that because I've been, I was surprised. So I'm certain. Please, 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 please don't pull your dick no, out. I was surprised by how many women I've been with have said they've never seen a circumcised penis. And I was like. In San Antonio. Yeah. It, everywhere. Oh, wow. Like, especially like the, the, the Canadian girl. Was There's like, not a lot of Jews here. That, but, no, uh, but not just hey, How the did Jews the Canadian girl say that? To you. <laughs> What's you hey, you got a fucking uncircumcised <laughs> penis, huh? <laughs> I'm fucking Canadian. Maple syrup. We were going to do Canucks. karaoke. Yeah, let's go to karaoke. Dude, what are you do, singing, um, mate? Let's do a David Allen Co. Never call me by my name. And I'm, you okay. might have to turn my mic down because I'm loud. All right. By the way, you got a lot of compliments on, on doing what? it. What? you did doing it. On the what? Hut. I said shit right here. What are you talking about? When you sang doing it. Yeah. Doing, doing it. it yeah. Doing it. Doing it. No couple of people were like, he killed it. Doing it? Talking about LL Cool J? Doing it on the podcast. LL Cool J? No, the one by uh, Lucas. Oh, really? Oh. From from our episode? Yeah. Yeah. I do that that made me what almost. What is a lot? And you that did, was a good that, that was, was a good moment. A fucking, that was a good song. And I don't like modern country, but I like I, that song. I, comes I, I played it out. Yeah. Dude, we were like in tears. <laughs> it was like it was like he played uh, it out so bad he forgot what what the fuck are you talking about? Man? Like, he was ready to just go There's off no on you. There's no song called "Doing It." Who the fuck gave me compliments, Rich? <laughs> it felt like we were like doing your stupid fucking things you say, bro. <laughs> Dude, but no, that was a be- we went from a like that comedy podcast night. We went to like it was a beautiful moment, and it felt mm-hmm. like we were like like Vietnam veterans listening to "Proud to Be an American." Like, yeah, like, <laughs> because that five deep in the van part, I could tell where you were like, dude, because that's dude, the shit, man. Like, I've been there. Like, oh, it is. And maybe even like in a fucking van, literally with five motherfuckers in Texas. My first time in Texas. Play that fucking song right no, now. Let's I, go. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't sing it. But do uh, "Never Call Me by a Name" by David Allen Coe, and then uh, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you end or f- pick a bet something better that you can beat me at. This, okay, okay, Because okay. this is my go-to first karaoke song I do when I go is on Is he public. related to David Allen Greer? No. no. You said no. I have to click he's twice. White. David he's white. David Allen Greer is black. He's related to Edgar Allan Poe. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker. It's Cole. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right. Tomato, tomato. You don't see me do Copo. This. Ho. Oh, did I cancel my subscription? <laughs> well, it was all that I could do to keep from crying. <laughs> like this here and I know y'all know it well I was drunk the day my mom got out of prison and I went to pick her up in the rain <laughs> but before I could get to the station in my Train. And I 
That's right. Bro. Yeah. How bad did Michelle Cantu hurt you? I know. Um, okay, hold on. He's going super wide, so I got to go super Mexican, Oh, right? bro. Oh, okay. Or, or Devin, went down, that Devin went down to Georgia on the day. Oh. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. Can, you, can you do it already? Like, like yeah, on yeah, point? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. No, do that, bro. All right. That'd be great for the pot. That'd be great for like the TikTok. Do it a versus like uh-huh. white versus bad. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. A white. race war. Okay, you ready? Sorry. Oh, I was born ready. The thing about me is uh, I stay ready, so I don't have to get ready. <laughs> what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> Basically, I said I'm better than. No, I, I, I know the lyrics. So, well, oh, I don't know my heart, but I actually can read. <laughs> Got no, the message. I was actually, honestly, I was expect. I would have expected like Volver, Volver, or something. Oh. Like that's the one. That's like volver, the crowd. Volver. That's the fucking crowd. Oh, killer, dude, I want to do that now. Oh, we'll do it later. You're doing it together. I don't know the lyrics like that, son. But you can read. Are them, y'all like, gonna do it together? Yeah. To record it. If you do that though, I got to do a really white one. Yeah. So I'm, I'll do like uh, Toby oh. Keith, and then you fucking do Volver Volver later. Toby Keith. Oh, the, the red, girls. white, and blue. No, yeah. fuck that. Listen, I, I love that song. This bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this bitch. This bitch. Y'all should do um, over and over again by uh, to- over and over Nelly. again. Oh, oh I'm, I'm thinking version. about it over and over yeah, again. I have, I have some band aids too. Oh, bro. Oh, yeah. so I, so I used to have the microdermal right here. They used to call me Diamond Dye back when I worked uh, years ago at, at a place called Pratt Industries. Uh-huh. And so I, I used to, at work, they made a rule where I couldn't have piercings, but I couldn't take it out. So I used to have to wear the band aid right here, like fucking Nelly. So motherfuckers, like, uh-huh. the motherfuckers be like, oh, what's up, Nelly? Like, uh, what's wow. up, culture vulture? Culture so vulture. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't wear. <laughs> I like it. I'll take it. Why? It was a distraction? No, nah, they said it was dangerous. They said I get caught in the machinery. I'm like, bitch, I shouldn't have my face that close to fucking moving gears anyway. My nose sticks out more <laughs> yeah, like, than the fucking time. In bro, my, my fucking ass sticks out more than that shit. <laughs> uh, but no, yeah, so at the end, uh, I'd be down for that. We all had to jump in, though. Y'all got to do the rap verses, and I'll be there as fucking Tim McGraw, you know. But uh, no, I def- if we did more later, I'll probably do like Toby Keith, but I'll do like a sad one, and then you end up Volver, Volver, and then, then uh, mm-hmm. it's like, Volver, Volver, you know. <laughs> 
um, what you been up to, man? What's your latest show you've done? So, uh, so I actually you're I, getting a lot of shows based on being on the PFR podcast. Oh, so, Are they reaching out to you? Because uh, well, actually, so actually, you know who did reach out to me <laughs> watching the fuck this fucking podcast? Really? My father, who I haven't talked to in years. <laughs> Dude, he texted oh, me the other day. No. Yo, 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 straight up, I got the message. No I swear to God, in San Diego, I swear to God, bro, we're changing lives, baby. Bro, bro, bro. Because like, you know who out. I met recently. Like, we're we're bringing mate. families together. I met bro. Becky G. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. So this motherfucker, I haven't seen him in years, right? He goes, oh, shit. Oops, I missed his last text. <laughs> Oops. But he goes, uh, where the fuck did he say? I haven't talked to him, and I, it's probably almost a year since the last text. Um, he goes, I just want you to know I really enjoyed your BFR podcast. And I was like, Whoa. Hey, sorry, I missed your birthday three months ago. <laughs> like, you know, like <laughs> I was like, You watched it? He goes, I watch everything you do online. And if anybody knows my jokes, I do no, I crack them like my pops, like I ain't gonna tell what he did, but I I tell I, what he did, please. No, no, but I I call no, him, I, I refer to him as like a piece of shit. Hey dad, it. let's get you on the BFR podcast and Ooh, tell what you did. Ooh, that's the one thing I won't allow. That man, you'll be like, he's not your father. He's so he's dark as shit, right? He looks Cuban. Uh -huh. He's got black hair. Brown eyes, she black goatee. What? Would you fuck my dad? You, she does. Um, how much does he weigh? Oh shit! You what? <laughs> That's a good question. So is what, that a minimal weight limit or a maximum? Weight yeah. Limit? How much uh, is too much? It depends on how tall he is. How tall? I like a. I like a a stocky. How's five yeah. eleven? Is five eleven too BMI. tall? Is that too short? What? Is he making his tits? <laughs> yeah, well, is five eleven too That's, short? What's up with that side of the table, man? Y'all got <laughs> hit by spiders or what? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? I'm just trying. I'm I just, don't know how to do that, bro. I cannot. Well, you need you need titties first. Right. <laughs> I have pecs. You need to eat a fucking no, cheeseburger. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, bring a cheeseburger, man. Yeah. I don't be fucking. Well, <laughs> that means my dad has seen me I call him like drive. a child molester on stage. No, but I'm saying like, so. I'm like, something. oh shit, and I never prepped him for my comedy. So yeah, so because of that, but uh, I got a uh, so. coming up. I have a few things and I've been trying not to book a lot because, and I've been preaching this and I preached that on the Pat thing about like, this is a business. It's not a lottery. You're not going to like randomly get discovered and not all stage time's good time. Yeah. So I, uh, I put, I is pretty it much. Not? Huh? Is it's, it not? It's like, a business. It's what, not a lottery. But, it, but um, no, no, no. Yeah. I agree with that hundred percent, but not all stage time is good time. No, it's not good. Every practice is good practice. If you're trying, oh, you're not going to be good all the time. Yeah, but yeah. You, but like, they're like any uh, the 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 thing that any except in every show and any stage time is good stage time. No, because you're missing opportunities and you're oversaturating the market. Mm -hmm. Look at look at the it's price awesome. of uh, look at the price of HDT or of uh, plasma screen TVs back in the day. Yeah, they used to be so fucking expensive. Right. But once more companies started making them, yeah. they dropped down in price. Mm -hmm. Guess what happens to your worth? And it's the same with music. If you overplay an area all the time, right. your worth goes down, which means your draw goes down. I mean, not only if, if you're worth more, you're going to draw more. Usually that's kind of the basis of it. If your worth goes down, if everybody in this area has already seen you a hundred times, nobody in San Antonio is going to come see your comedy. So I have a rule. I'm like, I'm only taking shows worth taking. And I've been getting offered. Uh, I took, I finally accepted a San Antonio show. Luz Paso is coming back into town and we're doing downtown sometime in October. I don't want to give away too much because I shit, I could quit the show for all I know, but I've accepted it so far. It's in October. I'm going to be performing downtown at, uh, I think it's the Woodlawn Theater. There's an amphitheater in there called really? like Atmospheric Theater. I'm doing that. Wow. I'm doing uh, a double header in Corpus Christi in two weeks. Are we invited? What, to Corpus? No, just why the fuck would I go to Corpus, San oh, Antonio? Yeah, of course. Fucking come. If y'all don't come, I'll be pissed. Cool. I'll be fucking shitty. I but, am into the business no, of pissing people off. Yeah, no, but yeah, so I'm going to, so that's the first one. I haven't. <laughs> yeah, looked, we're not going. I, uh, I stopped, <laughs> but I'm stopping doing, so I did do a show recently. I, I was only there supporting friends and then it's same thing happened like when I came back, the guy booking, it, it was supposed to be a ladies show. Mm -hmm. And then he was kind of fucking around. The lineup wasn't going good at all. People weren't paying attention. It was a bar show, Rocky's Tavern. This is a lady show. It's a lady show. And then he put a dude on it to open it up yeah. and he fucking bombed. The first person I've ever, no, he's the first person I've ever seen get booed off the fucking stage. Really? I've never seen that at a show I've been to. Whoa, I've seen joking booths at Rocky's Tavern, but this kid <laughs> also too, his jokes aren't original. They're, they're old concepts. He's 23 years old I mean, and is writing 9-11 jokes. <laughs> Oh, really? He wasn't around for 9-11. 9-11 jokes? He's doing like, what do you think? He said, what do you think the people in the towers are thinking? Like, this day can't get any worse. How many times have you heard a motherfucker wow. say that when making jokes, right? How many times have people like, oh, God, they're dating? You know, How like, does he set that up? Let me take y'all back in he time. He didn't. He's a break, he's a, I'm not knocking the kid, but I wanted to pull him to the side and be like, listen, man, you you know that shit's already been done because you that's fifth grade talk. Like, we were joking about that in fifth fucking grade when that shit happened. 
when we shouldn't have been, when, when America was all proud it's of It's like, okay, boomer. Like, yeah. No shit. <laughs> like, it's not original. And I went, he kept doing that. But then he kept saying when people weren't laughing at his jokes, he goes, he kept saying, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. Oh, shit. He wasn't doing it because he wanted to kill himself. I've mm-hmm. seen him plenty of times. He was oh, doing he it. Was saying it. He was trying to get a gimmick speech. going with it, and it it just wasn't working. And I want to tell the kid, be like, oh. it's not working because you're you didn't come up with anything original. Mm-hmm. You're you're talking street jokes right now, which is common. You're you're trying to if you throw street jokes into a set that you're mm-hmm. telling a story on, okay, it's a quick little tag. Mm-hmm. But his whole comedy gimmick was doing my type of shit, where I'm doing that misdirection one liners that like mm-hmm. Jeslinek does. But I wrote my shit myself, yeah. and then I I hit something different at the end. His was like his whole gimmick was an old joke we already know. He was acting like a comedian. Yeah, so he's gonna get better hopefully someday. Um, nice kid, but I just so he's a comedian who played at the Woodlawn Theater recently. He's no, twenty three no. years old. And, what? No, he didn't do. Oh, no, oh yeah, Rocky's, Rocky's Tavern. Tavern. Rocky's well, he got booed. But he got booed off old. that stage. All right, we gotta figure out. Who this oh, is. fucking poor dude. I want to bring him on. Oh, no, Dang you him. don't trust me. Ouch! I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> Wait, give him. He tells you who to bring on and who not to. But uh, I do. Yeah, but yeah. I went up there, right? So I went up after the last lady. He's our booking double agent. Yeah, I mean, I'm a fucking I'm a double agent, I like son. I, I tell like you who to bring that. But when I went up there, I got up. I'm like, I didn't know I was going up. I didn't know I was there to have fun and a drink and to hit on bitches, right? So he goes, next up is Mace, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, all right. So I get up there and I go, you, know, I go. So I go. This is. I'm like, give it up for all the ladies that just performed. I hate doing that as a comedian, but I, I didn't know what was going on. So I was like, get over all ladies. I go, but you know how to make a show, a lady show better? Like how to make sure it's a good night. Yeah, actually That's put a it. fucking man yeah. on stage. <laughs> oh I got, I got, the dudes were like, yeah. And all the bitches were like, no. <laughs> but I had a decent set. I had a decent set. It wasn't bad, but I, I just had to throw up the oldies. I have, you know, I've been doing since I first started. Cause I had no fucking idea. I was going to yeah. hit an open mic later that night. Have you ever bombed more than twice? Have I ever bombed? What do you mean? Mm-hmm. Period? Mm-hmm. Open mics, yeah, mobile shit. Ask him, if, a, if a comedian ever tells you, except for Michelle Cantu. Okay, cool. Ex- just checking, her, just <laughs> checking her numbers here. <laughs> I bombed, Double I checking. Her have I bombed shows more than twice? Yeah, I've had bad shows. Damn. Have I bombed open mics more than twice? Oh fuck yeah. Have you ever bombed in Oklahoma City? That's a joke I wrote and scrap and scrap. Oh, uh, sorry, it's mine. You already it, took it. It's I mean, written out. Yeah. I'll pull up for all. It, is it published? Is it, has it? Is it anywhere where I can pull up on right now and see it? Because because mine is. You gotta let it go. Oh, scratch it. Is it on the podcast <laughs> or is it on stage? <laughs> Hold on. No, because I did write that about. And Bobby. we're going to open mic on Wednesday, right? Right? That's my first joke. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. He's setting it up. I thought we were yeah. recording. I asked him when he's. Yes, we are afterwards. Oh, no, I'm going home. If you're going to go, no, I'm going home. I don't go to that mic. Cool. Then you're not going to have a joke. Oh. Fuck you. No, <laughs> you can do that joke. <laughs> okay. But I did write I'm that. I'm fucking with you. No. No. You did? Did no, you I date did. it? Yeah, because it, yeah, yeah. it was my joke. You write your dates on all your jokes? <laughs> no, I wrote that up because I was going to do it on a set list. No, I legit, but I'm sure it's been done before because. <laughs> Did you take a picture on that date of I mean, that o- date? Oklahoma's to older make sure that- than 9 11. So. Yeah, that was 96. Yeah, but comedy is recent. <laughs> There's never been bombing comedy on stage. Is done well, no, day. joking, going those limits though hasn't. And I, I didn't do it because, like, I didn't know if it wow. had been done before. I was 12 years old. 95. I was about, 95 I wasn't about to be 12. I was two. Wait, wait, two. wait. Two. Beans, are you going to fucking. Are you going to do the open mic too? No. Oh, I thought you were going to go up. I'm like, all right, I will fucking go just because I want to see you guys first time. Really? Dude, well, because, dude, your first time, like, it doesn't matter mm-hmm. how funny you are. The only uh-huh. person in the history of the world's ever done good their mm-hmm. first time on a mic. And Dave I don't, Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Yeah. But he bombed, and we said this, he bombed like seven times after. Afterwards, yeah. But this kid, I did this open mic. That, actually, I didn't do it. I went to it and then left because mm-hmm. it was it was it was rigged in stage. And I'm not going to name the mic because oh. they're trying to make it better. But they rigged it. Why are you talking about people you're not naming? That's not cool. Because I'm, I'm, I want to <laughs> hit the mic in a couple weeks right, go ahead. and just show and just just show it mm-hmm. and be like. Mm-hmm. Um, but Michelle can't too sign up and scratch her name <laughs> off because after two or three comics, she was like, "Yeah, this is I know what's going on here," and she scratched her name off. What's going on here? It was rigged. Oh, what do you mean by rigged? There was they, there was a cash prize at the end. Oh, there's cash no. prize in the end and what it was is and this guy came up who's never done comedy before ever in his life mm-hmm. he won it and he said and, and everybody was, and uh, he's even like dude the whole crowd was chanting my name during the set mm. whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, you're telling me you went to a bar on a Friday night mm-hmm. on a, at a bar that's normally packed and you had the whole crowd chanting your name after you've never done an open mic I go how many of them were told by the bar and then I found out so the bartenders were going to run it again make it was the bartender's best friend Oh really? Mm. When I but when I was bartender, I could run shit. I was so that's all I'm gonna say. I'm like this seems a little. Was he want he want to catch Instagram price. personality or things like that? Nothing. Wow. Best friend, just the best friend who's never done in his life. You and I can do. You can win a contest just by being the friend of a bartender. 
if you get enough, if you say, hey, I'll give you free drinks for shouting out this dude's name. Mm. How many things would you do for free drinks at a bar? Thank you for putting that perspective there. Yeah, I do anything. Yeah. I used to do anything for free drinks. I used to have people beat up people like or throw people out of the bar for free drinks. You ever suck a dick for free drinks? Uh, Toledo, Ohio. Toledo, Ohio. 2002. Nice. No. But anyway, so I don't want to talk about that no more. But uh, I got two shows coming up, Corpus Christi, um, doing a double header. I'm spending the weekend there. And then I got that show booked. Um, I haven't really booked anything else. Mm-hmm. Um, Who booked you with Luz Passos, though? Luz, uh, Luz Passos reach out. Directly? We're in the same DMs as Luz Passos? Yeah. Interesting. There was a rumor at one point in time about a few people. They thought the only reason that she was associated with me is that somehow she slept with me. But I was like, I doubt that. Like... Huh. Somebody told me. Well, that. can you like, tell her to get on our fucking podcast? Because I reached out to her the other day. What happened? She turned him down. She, yeah, she turned me down. I she literally turned you down explicitly, or she like, say she wasn't going to be here for like. Yeah, she said she wasn't going to be here for another year, and that's that, not a that, this motherfucker. That's not me, a turn down. What you say is it's we a can lie. Work with that. But let me say this: I was like it's a blatant lie when she when she, she hit me up because she knows people will come and see me. Not that I have fans. I mean, I just have people who I don't let come and you see. You could me. give her an ultimatum. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, because she'll find somebody. <laughs> no, I don't know. But she knows that, like, I have groups of people that I don't let come see my comedy. I'm like, you're gonna wait till I have a good show. Like, I'm, I don't want you to come down to me see, see me in open mic. And there's people that want to come that if I said buy a mm-hmm. ticket to this, they come. Mm-hmm. That's what I did at that show. I've done that in my first ever show I ever did. I did that. The guy booked me, and I said, I said you'll have a packed room. I'm like, all my friends have been like, I've had a couple friends go to open mics and watch me, and they're curious to see how my shows are. I'm like, I got people who come, and they did. I had my first show was amazing like I, my, I, my first two shows were fucking amazing because i had people that i knew that wanted to see me who didn't know what to expect come and see me and i got paid like i got paid for it because i brought people like you know like so the, she knows she knows because i brought i bring when, when she's asked me before i bring people has your dad ever been to one of your shows no fuck no and he'll probably never come motherfucker lives on the other side of the country oh does he but i hope he puts me in his will Wow. Oh, man. I hope he puts all of us in his way. Well, I think it's awesome. Yeah. I wonder how much you watched of the podcast. Probably all of it, bro. Really? Probably the... Did I talk about my dad at all? No, I don't think you did. Oh, thank no. fucking God. Because then he probably come I don't out think so. But That's so cool that he watched it. Yeah. Oh, and then also, too, I want to bring up, I just... Uh, last weekend, I did uh, like a live stream podcast radio show thing. Uh, BFI? BFI. It's it's yeah. our buddy Lance Cantus, but Tracy came mm-hmm. in and did it, too. I saw that. Her, same night, right? Pumped, yeah, she brought it's me... crazy. A, she brought a... a Wait, the same night. Cigar fucking right? box. It was the same episode <laughs> that y'all, y'all worked Chico. together? No? Was, no, we were on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I think she did it a couple weeks before, too. Oh. Um, did y'all fuck? No, not at all. But she gave me a cigar box as a present. <laughs> <laughs> were there cigars in the box? No, it was empty. <laughs> I swear Why I thought cigars were in the box. Why the fuck is she just carrying around a cigar box? I was like, oh, I'm like, you know how poor I am. Like, you realize how poor I am. You're like, this is a dresser for his. I was just like, this is so cool. We're going to all smoke, smoke cigars yeah, on the fucking that's podcast what I together. Too. And, yeah. and we my light it. again or we're going to have a problem. But I like the cigar box, but I was just like, so she always does it. She gives out gifts. And Tracy's a sweetheart. Yeah. Um, awesome. She means well. She's, yeah. She came and brought us uh, <laughs> cigar boxes and, um, and Topo Chico. And, and Topo, Topo Chico. Chico. That's this tastes spicy. Life. I love you, Tracy. It's awesome. No, you you guys have been fucking killing it though. I've been watching most of the. I just the last week I've been really busy with with work and shit and like and I've been getting like yeah. I got a phone call. I don't know if I'm doing it, but I have another show in Corpus Christi maybe coming up on the 17th of July. I got a phone call la- uh, Friday night while I was doing the podcast thing. Like, hey, and I got a show for you to do this, but I don't. I'm still poor until I move out of my apartment. So mm-hmm. it's hard to travel out of the city yeah. being as poor as I am. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, I've been watching as a shit. The like, white man saying he's poor. <laughs> <laughs> he's That's like, weird. I only have 10 grand left in my savings. Why doesn't savings? anybody care about the white man anymore? <laughs> <laughs> we don't. Hey, you we never did. I'm Argentinian, son. That's almost not white. You're Argentinian? No, I just make that shit up. Oh. You yeah. should well, run with that, though. It's because the Germans moved to Argentina yeah. after the war. But I I, refi- I would have gone with that when I was mm-hmm. younger because I believed it, but I'm not German, and I I will not sell my soul to be German. I don't give a fuck you off from a million dollars. Are you Jewish? You're not German? No. Damn. I would have thought that if, like... That was your first nationality. I hate if if I had a choice, I would kick every German out of the US in a heartbeat. That's exactly why I'm saying it. You would round them up in camps. I would round them up in camps. (laughs) I call them. Didn't I say this? I call them Krautbacks. Like (laughs) it's the weirdest racism that we've ever had on the podcast. Mm -hmm. It just just doesn't make sense. But I love Schlitterbahn. (laughs) Schlitterbahn. (laughs) Schlitterbahn. (laughs) I still have yet to go. But anyway, long story short. (sighs) Did you know there's a serial killer in Austin? Not Whoa. anymore. What? He got caught, bro. He got caught? Yeah, you pinned yeah. him off. I did. Yeah. 
He did get caught. He's an old man. I don't think it was him. I think you framed him. It's not him. him. Yeah, you totally framed him. Those are different. Would you sleep with him? Fuck no, dude. He's super old. Not you, motherfucker, or her. Yeah, she wouldn't oh. either. He's old as fuck. Bullshit. I think she would. Look at that face. That's oh, not 65 that's years old? Yeah, I don't I think it's him. Oh, my dad's older than that. Why not? No. Oh, that dude? Yeah, he's dead. That's him. There's no way. That Everybody he, needs to believe that that was him. That was him. <laughs> he killed himself, right? He killed himself? I don't know. They that. went in and he was dead? No, he no. didn't kill him, bro. He's Mexican. He admitted he to it. Himself. No, he's a hardcore dude. Oh, dude, when I was locked up, I had to do the, uh, that. Um, <clears throat> Look, man, I told detectives watch. about- No, he uh, turned himself in after committing a murder from like five years before. And he said he just couldn't live with the fucking guilt anymore. That's crazy. And I was like, bro, you got away scot-free. See, that sounds like came. some white shit. That sounds he like was some white, white. people. Yeah, oh, he was wait, a white oh. dude, bro. In the military, he fucking killed a dude. Five years later, came out and said, hey, I killed this dude. And da, 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 da. Sweetest fucking dude I've ever known, bro. Really? <laughs> yeah, he was super cool. When I got to TDC, he was in there with me. And he was just like, like timid and chilled. And I was like... Who the fuck? How the fuck did you like they mm-hmm. the on the news? It was like bad fucking killing, and I was like, "Bro, you're like the nicest guy ever." And he's like, "Yeah, I just couldn't live with it anymore." Like, yeah, sometimes that's eat you up. What a sweetheart. Yeah, dude, he really was a sweetheart. <laughs> he's definitely a fucking murderer, <laughs> yeah. but he was a sweetheart, dude. It's called a sociopath. Wait, wait. So what? What were you? Actually, this is a good segue into something I I had looked up. Have you ever ridden a segue before? No. Oh. I'm not that kind of white, son. No. Right. I've never, I've actually only seen them, like, a, I've only seen, uh, like, uh, the, the the nice ass mall, like, uh, security guards uh, right now. I've mall never, cop? What yeah, the fuck's cop. a segue? That's the, that's the segue is like him transitioning into, into a story. Else, yeah. Oh. Yeah. So I've never, ahead. but I've never, are you transitioning well, to? I was going to say, uh, <laughs> what the fuck is it? Oh, no, the top 10, like, dumbest, like, uh, dumbest criminals in the world. Uh-huh. Um, a dude once called a bank in, I think it was here in, Texas or was in Pittsburgh, one of the two. He called the bank to let him know he was coming to rob it so they'd have the money ready. And they just, and they're like, so they called the cops and had him just waiting there for them to come rob Where the was bank. it? I don't oh, know. Oh, shit. Sorry. I know, I'm like, <laughs> but uh, I was reading them like how many. Man calls bank. Man calls bank to rob it. Pittsburgh and Texas is a fucking huge difference, man. I don't know, bro. I just took a shot of some <laughs> bum ass knockoff Crown Royal that some cops made. So, this one? Bank robbery calls. Yeah, that's it. See Bank robbery now. suspect calls ahead with demand for cash. In Connecticut, bro. You're way off. There's no black dudes in Connecticut. Look at him. So that, he ain't from Connecticut. That's why they got rid of him. <laughs> They're like, arrest this guy. Yeah, he called. He's like, yo, have it ready. I'm going to rob the drive-thru okay. window. Tell us, wh- wh- did you just read the headline and write it down? Or what more do you Not know about it? I didn't it? write it down. No, I was going through it. That was one of them. Oh, okay, okay. Another one was um, a deaf dude robbed a bank. And because he was deaf, they just, they realized because he, like in a movie moment, it's like, they asked him like, do you want a bag? And he's like, yeah, I'm a hardcore killer and I got a gun. And then they hit the, they're like, oh, he's deaf. And they hit the alarm and just stood there and just waited. And he's just, he just didn't, he didn't the hear the alarm. <laughs> he couldn't hear nothing, bro. He was deaf that like, hey, like, yeah, I got a gun. Like that kind of deaf, bro. <laughs> he can do a deaf man's accent. That was nice. That wasn't even real? Brooklyn. How do you do it with Brooklyn? Hey. Oh, I don't know. I I, it, hey. Fuck. <laughs> no, they're racist as fuck out there. So I ain't gonna Who's racist? That. New York. Okay, show me how it racist. Is it racist in New York? I've never been. So did I? I didn't tell the story. My first time in Brooklyn, mm-hmm. I went to. I was back when I smoked. I smoked Newports back in the day before I quit to vaping. Used and, to be black. Yeah, bro. Oh. Fucking except for the except for the ass. I got the dick though. But uh, no, so I, I'm looking for this. I'm, a, I'm at a place called uh, the Brooklyn Bazaar. But is the tip red? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hey, uh, 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 on no. a scale of this button to this cup. <laughs> <laughs> so we, so I've been up for two fucking days. I've been up for two days, and I was driving the van the, the last few hours of the leg of the trip. And we get off, or we get to the venue, and it's like it's like one o'clock noon. The show's about to start. It's an all day festival, packed as fuck. They don't sell cigarettes. You can't smoke inside, but they don't sell cigarettes or nothing. So there's bodegas everywhere. So I go outside, and I'm I'm doing this touristy look, and I'm wearing a white Sox cap. So somebody can tell I am from New York. Mm-hmm. They're like, hey, hey, this Italian guy with a white wife beater shirt goes, hey, my man. He goes, you look, you looking for a corner store like the bodegas around here? I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I need cigarettes. He goes, there's one around the corner. And he said, uh, that was in New York versus yeah. Brooklyn. He goes, he goes, uh, he goes, he goes, yeah, there's one around the corner, blah, blah, blah. He goes, the bunch of sand is running down. I was like, 
Okay, but I'm like, all right, they got hit by 9-11. I'm like, I'm going to forgive that. I'm just going to ignore it. I need cigarettes. See, we used to say that word. Yeah. Yeah. So I go, but this is, this is, this dude's paler than me, Italian. Like he looks Damn. like he's, he, he looks like he's from North Italy. Like anyway, so I go get my cigarettes. I light, I come outside. I instant light up. So I haven't had a mm-hmm. cigarette in six hours. I'm dying. He goes, hey, my man. He goes, since I gave you the information, think I can get one, you know, hooked you up. And I was like, yeah, of course. He goes, you know, because us fucking whites got to sit together around here with all these. And he's about to say, I know what the was coming out. And I'm like, ah, I'm like, night, here's your cigarette. Bye, guy. Like, I was like, what the fuck? The first person I meet when I step out the car in New York City instantly is going with the N word. Like, because I'm a white dude. I was like, I don't know. Yeah. So that was an awkward. That was the last time I saw my father, you know. <laughs> there we go. I got a little laugh. I think he'd let him say it. I don't think he stopped him. I think never he joined them. I don't think he stopped them. <laughs> <laughs> you never stopped us. Uh, well, no, y'all are. It's different. I like uh, you guys. Oh, why? I don't well, like Italians. Y'all are. You stopped yourself. There. Y'all are. Y'all are. Y'all where are, are we? Mexican. Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> I saw Brown. the last of the Mexicans. <laughs> that guy that goes on Sixth Street and like hits on chicks on the video. Um, whatever his name was. Um, Beans. He he. <laughs> he <laughs> he's my idol. Um, <clears throat> he Ron went up White. to somebody and he was Ron like, White. "What did he say?" Fuck, I completely forgot what I was just about to say. Oh, he was asking him. <clears throat> there were three black guys with a white friend. And they're like, has he ever said the N-word? And the one of the black guys is like, mm, I don't think so. And then the other one's like, yeah, he, he, he said it once. Why he said it? And they're like, and they're like, are, are y'all okay with him saying that? And one of them was like, no, fuck no. <laughs> and, he, and he's like, he could say it. That's our boy. He could say it. And he's like, what about me? And the guy's Mexican, the interviewer. And he's like, ah, oh, you could say it. you're Mexican dog. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. We get a pass. That no, I, like as a white dog, I gotta give it a pass. I ain't gonna knock on it. You but gotta you, give it a pass. I gotta give it a pass. You don't have a right to give it a pass. I'm giving it a pass. I'm, t- I'm using my white. I'm this one. You're using white white I'm, I'm giving oh, it a pass. Shit, we're not gonna get, oh, wow. <laughs> no, but so you ever seen the video of the Hey, dude yeah, this white guy gave me a pass. Yeah. So don't I mean, wait, white dude, so I can say <laughs> yeah. No, you ever seen that video? That dude, he's getting interviewed. He goes, "Are oh, you? Are oh, you bitches?" And he's the Mexican dude. He looks almost. He's he's <laughs> almost looks like Arabic. Like until he says he's he's Latino. Like because he's he's got he's got a fade lined up. And I'm like, and it looks kind of like a, what's that? What's it? Mo Ammer. Mo Ammer. Kind of yeah. looks like Mo Ammer's face, but not the hair. And I, I was like, and his accent didn't sound like, it didn't sound I like South no of the border. no idea who Mo Ammer is. You don't know is. who Mo Ammer is? Bro, you from Houston? Texas? Wow. I don't think, yeah. do I think he's a Rox, would you bang him? Yeah. Yeah, I knew she it. Like, she like him thick. He kind of looked like uh, Nate a little Hispanic. bit. Like, oh my gosh, I have the cutest picture of Nate. <laughs> like if, like if Nate was, um, you know, a terrorist. <laughs> I mean, I like the irony of a Middle Eastern teaching like airport etiquette. Yeah. Well, dude, so like he uh, he also speaks Spanish from what I understand. He's so cute, right? I can't see. I don't got my glasses. So I can't see oh. this shit. <laughs> if you get close enough, you can see his peen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the peen. Can we have Nate on the podcast? Mm-hmm. Why not? Why not? Does he watch us? No, I don't let him. Really? Yeah. Why not? You've only been on it for a few weeks. I know, but it's not even that. He doesn't even know my work sex experience, and now the whole world knows it. Except uh, Nate. Except Nate. Oh, I'm gonna tell him. Yeah. I'm gonna tell him, and I'm gonna tell him it's with a white dude. No. Oh yeah. That's a Mexican DJ. Yeah. DJ Big Rick. Yeah. Stop saying the name. Yeah. That's him mixing. Yeah. Hmm. What? Tell the joke. Right now, Rich. Come on, Rich, hurry up. I'm no fucking no, joke. I'm the least fucking oh, funniest person man. on this podcast. Not, it's not, it's right. too fucking late, dude. You gotta tell the joke. Yeah, tell the joke. It it don't have to be your own joke. You can literally steal anything. Hurry up, Rich. I, I'm fuck. <laughs> Airline <laughs> peanuts. What's up with that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Rox. <laughs> We're gonna cut off from my girl. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even give out. I just made her do a spit take. That wasn't even that funny. <laughs> they don't even give peanuts anymore. They're like a little Chex mix. Oh, really? Yeah. The little, I, the I, yeah it's usually I pretzels. Usually like pretzel, like the pretzel ring things from I Chex I just remember mix. that from Spongebob. He does that. What about these peanuts? Yeah. There's like, there's <laughs> what about like these peanuts? Come on, Rich. We're waiting for a joke. Hurry up. Can I look one up or something? Michelle, no! Michelle Catu said you were the funniest one on the podcast. <laughs> and you don't even got a fucking and, joke. And you don't even got a fucking joke. Be funny, pussy. Yeah. Pussy. Y'all, y'all fucking suck. Because like, <laughs> if, if we, hold on, let me get on the mic for this. 
Hell yeah. He's about to go deep inside you. Like he got in that girl. Right. Uh, so, look, if somebody came on the podcast and said you were the fattest one, it wouldn't be hard to prove. No, it wouldn't. Right? You just have to sit there. Now you got to prove. But I said you're the funniest. And yeah. You have, you have to, to prove I'm not it. the funny. I mean, because I. No, but they're saying you are, so do it. Yeah, make be us funny. laugh, monkey. Dance, funny. bitch. Dance, boy. So I was at work the other day, right? Uh huh. Uh-huh. What happened at work? Somebody threw a soda and hit me in the head. <laughs> uh-huh. And what happened? Soda, it was, it soda was, count? No, it, was, it was okay because it was a soft drink. Okay. Uh, uh, I like that. Okay. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> Where'd that you was get that from? That, that was, was a fucking swerve, Mace. That was out. Right? That was, that, yeah, no, that was, that was I was joke. wondering where he was going with that. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, this so motherfucker caught before? me throw a soda yeah. at him. <laughs> I thought he was saying Alejandro. Like, like, um, oh, oh, like oh, the Red Mysterio yeah. story. Oh. Do you know any jokes in Spanish? I barely speak Spanish. Oh, I know a joke in Spanish. So when I was uh, when I went to the Brazilian steakhouse, I used to. Did I tell this last? Yeah, time you told it last yeah. time. Oh, yeah. well, then I ain't gonna do it. No hey, dude, did oh no, I got the bear. One. I got a bear one in Spanish. Uh, oh no, I don't remember it. Hey, did we tell you that uh, one of our guests used to work for WWE? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I oh, you that. watched the episode? Uh, I, I watched part of it, bro. I gotta go back and watch more of the catalog because, dude, I only make it like an hour through, and then I'm like. Like I said, I'm not. attention span. Yeah. Yeah. Done jerking off to us. How come all everybody else's is one part? Mine was three parts. That's oh, what I that ask. was a white thing. <laughs> no, it was really trying to see how wait, 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 how wait. big your fan base it's, was. It's, it's in the Michelle episode, so once you watch that one, you'll know why. Mm. Oh yeah, I gotta watch that today. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm going to the pool after this, and then I'm gonna watch it. Oh, nice. Who's yeah. whose pool are you going to? Uh, it's in my sister. It's actually right off the road. It's in, uh, right off of um, on Grossenbacher, the first street before ninety. Uh, there's a pool there And my sister And my brother-in-law Live in the neighborhood And I'm going there Oh so your sister's married Oh yeah my brother-in-law He's cool he's You should, cool. You should open with that <laughs> <laughs> Instead of getting Mike's hopes up Yeah I thought we were All gonna just <laughs> Wait what <laughs> Yeah Oh okay no She Yeah she So she looks She so Does my she look like you No no my sister's Thank A Native American they, uh, They're Native American But my, my brother-in-law Is white He's from Can- but, he, but he has like A shaved head And a big beard He's tat- but they're both tatted up like every inch of their body, and I mean like every inch. They're both Ooh. veterans and shit like that. Is her is her like um, tits tatted? <laughs> I will fuck her. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck my sister. I, Normally I tell beans at every episode, but <laughs> my sister's not easy. Yeah, she's she's, got, she's like a Rubik's cube. Yeah, she's not for blind but, people. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, they're both had, no. They've been married for trying. they've been married for a while. They're both uh, they're both veterans. They they did like uh, I think they did ten years in. Um, that's how they ended up in San Antonio. That's why that's how I was able to move here is because I wanted like I I'm very close to my my sisters and one sister moved to New York and I'm not fucking moving to New York. But you can get closer if you bring her on the podcast. <laughs> mm. Yeah, yeah we want to talk about her military experiences. Yeah. She, dude, she ain't a talker like that. She she's one of the smartest. Women you'll fucking meet Like book smart wise She will not talk On a podcast On a bet Women aren't really smart though So you're a liar Yeah that's a lie It's probably not funny either <laughs> Oh she's probably She's not funny at all uh, that, So you I'll got she, she, You're telling me you got All the looks All the jokes And all of that Keep going Keep going <laughs> Keep going like it. All the looks and all the jokes. What else? You want to get into the table and suck them off somewhere? <laughs> yeah, fucking There's a. two things that I've like wrote down. And that, I used to rap. Um, that are like, and you like, used to rap. And I used to rap. Um, I still want to hear you topics. fucking get up on a open and do a music open night, Mike. And I want to see. I you. talk about like, I was thinking the other day, like, you know, the real heroes are not the fucking people who invented the seatbelt, right? Yeah. It's the people who invented the fucking dinging when you don't put your seatbelt yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because without that fucking dinging, I'm not putting the seatbelt on. But that dinging, bro. Because it's annoying, right? Yeah. It used to be that you could press the fucking thing and it would stop the dinging. No, but no they no. stopped it's, that. It's weighted now. It's if yeah. there's weight yeah. in the seat and it's not connected in. Yeah. Boom. So I just need a good punch. Yeah. Boom. Um, and then, like, I'm not praying for people who are vague on Facebook. You know, there's always people who fucking post oh. about a problem, but it's super vague. Right? But I don't want to talk shit. about it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I could use your your positive vibes and prayers today, but it's like, for what? What the fuck am I asking? What am I God? giving you? Ask me. Are the yeah. random what yeah. goes around yeah. comes around? Mm. Yeah. Right? Or the, or the karma's going to get you. You know who yeah. I'm talking about. Like, I hate that shit. I'm not yeah. putting fucking Goku spirit bomb together for you, bitch, right. if I don't know right. what it's <laughs> like, What the fuck am I going to ask Jesus for? Like, hey, yeah. please, can you please pray for Maria for, um, not sure, but um, can you help her out with whatever she needs help with? Fuck that. Her mom just died, bitch. I need to know. Yeah. <laughs> I need specifics. No. Yeah, so... 
Just need to work on punchlines. He'll really. catch that in post. Hey, stop being a little bitch. When are you going to get on stage? Tomorrow. Let's go. Wednesday. Oh, tomorrow's Monday, right? So Monday, there's two no open kids. mics, um, and I finally hit them for the first time because they're newer open mics. By newer, I mean they weren't around when I first, before I left. There's Lucky Duck, um, which comes later, and before that, it's Lady Bird. Lady Bird is on... Oh. Lady Bird's outside the 410, and right, then on Lucky it. Duck is inside the 410. <laughs> uh, but I the, just want to go and experience how bad everybody else is, so it makes mm-hmm. me feel better. Like, oh, I could do this shit. So that's what makes everybody want to try their first time, and then, yeah, because you've never done a comedy open mic, right? No. That's how it was for me with sex. <laughs> oh, my wait, wait, you got good at it? You go and watch people do it, and then you're like, oh, I, <laughs> I can like, do that. Do that? <laughs> <laughs> y'all Stop joking. Why didn't they block you? No, 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 no. Wait, Nate no. blocked you? No, oh. Nate, me, no. Oh, the other guy. We're, we're, we're friends on social media. Yeah. Y'all are friends, friends on social media. He, you, no, <laughs> you hear that, Nate? She DJ just called you a friend. Okay, I get it. But you're world. telling me that he doesn't watch this podcast. Right. He fucking watch Bullshit. Because you tell him he can't watch this podcast. I tell him it's super boring. If a woman told, if a woman I was interested in told me not to do something that does she is on. Does he see the reels and shit? Uh, no. Yes, he fucking does. Are he you, to, you are sure. smarter than this. You should. If, if your man, listen, if a dude mm. you were talking to told you, right. don't watch something I'm in, yes. what that is I the spend, first no, thing I you're going to That, that I spend every Sunday. I'm like, yeah, on. we're on the podcast. They're making fun of me because I can't spell. You're telling me you don't, you've never oh, like looked through your, leaving when you something dated somebody, out. you never looked through their mm-hmm. friends list on Facebook after they said, don't worry about somebody. That's what I'm talking about. You quality questions, guys. This is how you get you, to things. You, mm-hmm. I don't, you're playing, you're playing publicly dumb. That's going to be shaking a lot. You're playing publicly dumb, but he is, if he is interested in you he watches this shit and he's gonna know that me and you are fucking now no we're wow, not that's gonna be another no, too bad not. you better hope he actually doesn't no, watch it not. he does watch it i just bumped the, I, I just got bumped news it. for you <laughs> i know he watches he's it behind that curtain <laughs> i know i got news for you nate come out of the closet <laughs> <laughs> like, hi i'm chris hansen <laughs> that's funny you're not that you. dumb rox he watches something no. he can't be I show him like the reels, like after I shut the fuck up. Exactly. And then then you tell him, and then you tell him about me. And then you tell him it's a boring podcast. (laughs) You can't show him the reels and then he thinks it's a boring podcast. Yeah, but then it's like, I don't show him the parts where I'm in it or like where my, it doesn't matter. He's watching that that Photoshop job was fucking amazing. (laughs) That was hilarious. Right, bro. I was like, dude, that dude got, he, how did you do that? There's like the, the app do that for you. I just do You don't got to trace it? That shit was so funny. Yeah, on my phone. You do? Yeah. With your finger? Yeah. Damn. Wow. That was very close. Oh, that's that's what? tough to do. Well, at least on my phone. Did you see that? There's a lot of cum stains. Which Did one? you see them? <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> Which one? The, the bumpy road. Can you get onto uh, Facebook? The Becky G. Me, I met Becky you G finally last met night. B- Becky G. Can also somebody, can somebody tell her how to close windows she's not using anymore? <laughs> no, she saves them open. because at the end of the... Oh, yeah. she puts some good point. Yeah. Okay, I want to say I'm like, you have 36 windows open. Oh, fucking quitter. That's hilarious. Oh, yeah. I saw that when I was leaving. That's really cool. I was like, dang. Okay, what am I looking at? Just go to his... He's tagged in it if you just you go, go to his, pages. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. Go to my notifications. That's, That's a not my notification. Oh, shit. <laughs> Michelle <laughs> Cantu oh, coming in on Oh, let's post. see what Michelle said. Hold on. Let's see what Michelle said. I have to see what... She, is this not it? Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> where are the fucking... What are all comments? All comments. How dare I you do that to my boy, Rich? Now, if you go back, go back to his notifications. You didn't watch the podcast episode. She said, said that shit on the... Uh, oh, yeah. She, right she here, Bean, me Bean I didn't have to has a thing. No, 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 no. Effect. Make a wish down here. Right there. Yep. Damn, she went... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did see that. No, that was fucking great. Right? Hey, I mean, you could have adjusted the hue and saturation there. Did you but, yeah. Becky G. I, I didn't think about that until after I did it. I was like, man, we could have fucking. Bro, that's probably the best fucking headshot you ever. I've never, I haven't seen a full photo, but that's a great fucking headshot. It's centered on your face. Yeah. Uh, it's um, a great photographer. That's what it is. Like Ooh, that's good. Look at his little I necklace. Yeah. <laughs> I, ever heard of the I like that. I've seen Perfect. that, but I, I didn't realize Perfect. it's so appreciated until now, bro. Yeah. You, uh, you know who it looks like? Um, his dad? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a there's an actor I'm trying to think of. Uh, the one from Superstore, right? You mean Bean? No. I'm about to be in a movie. You know who I'm talking about? Is it a movie or what are we doing? Or are we not talking about that? 
Talking about the uh, We'll talk about it Talking about Chucos Who's no. no It's actually Marcus Wallace The dude that's gonna Okay Oh no shit I've been fa- I, I have that dude I, I wanna be in something Yeah he's doing a movie And he um, Yo tell him get a white dude Up in it and I'll play. I'll play white supremacist. I don't care. Did he ask for that, or you, did you talk to him about it, or you, he wanted you, a, some comments? No, we talked about it. Oh, nice. And I said, "Man, uh, my cousin be perfect for that." Nice. I'll be a radio personality. Oh. Yeah. I, wanna, I just want to. I want to play white supremacist in. A, in but a I told movie. him there's a stipulation. You're gonna play a white. I want to. That's what I've been trying to do. I could fit the role easy, bro. I got the no. eagle tattoo on my chest. I could easily be. <laughs> You're like, no, I, dude. I'll play a Puerto Rican white Becky supremacist. Becky G is so fine, though. Look at no. Well, what was it like meeting her, though? Um, have you ever eaten ass before? Yes. I haven't. Did it taste like <laughs> She looks like a midget in that photo, though. She's she, standing next yeah. to one. Yeah. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Me. <laughs> Dude, as soon though. as I saw that picture, I was like... Is that what came to your mind? Yeah, that was the first thing that came to my brain. It was like, that's fucking Becky G. Beans wanted to do <laughs> fucking fats of Becky G. That's hilarious. That's so perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Mace, did they invite you to my fitness extravaganza? No. Oh, no, I have not oh, invited yeah. We need to invite you to our fi- my fitness extravaganza. Yeah, we're slowly phasing out rocks on this podcast. So. Oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, Damn, but she fucked all the, all the guests for nothing then. Huh? No, dude, so we're going to have- Not um, for nothing. We got- There you go. We're going to have Rich do uh, fitness training and possibly die, and we need people there to root him on. So believe it or not, despite my size, I am actually a very active motherfucker. What fitness are you doing? We don't know until don't know. the day. He's gonna put it together. So I used to do, I like, I used to do. So part of when I did weight training, we don't school, really care what fitness. We I used to, they, they used to make us do Tai Bo once every two weeks. It was required for aerobics. With Billy Blanks. Yeah, yeah, we do Billy Blanks, and then we did one that was like uh, they did more like uh, it was more like martial artsy, and it was weird. Richard Simmons. I, no, motherfucker. <laughs> Sweating in the oldies. <laughs> Sweating in the oldies. But no, but like, um, I still can like do this shit in a heart. Like I can move like a motherfucker. I just love to like, I'll still kill a pizza whole, like nothing. I just, that's why I'm so big still is because like, but I can, I can, I, I'll do that fitness thing with you, bro. So no, 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 no. You're just there to, to no. talk. Yeah, yeah, we no, just I want to, no, I want to move. I'll talk shit while you I'm You can moving. be the racist one. I'm already the racist one. <laughs> Like you're yeah, Mexican. No, we, you're we, we, run, we just need people to cheer on Rich while we um, shit on him. But I'm South American, so I get a pass to the white. The whites. We're gonna throw Topo Chico cans at him and call him a fat ass the whole time. Mm-hmm. Don't waste Topo. Are they empty? Yeah. He's gonna drink them before. Oh, thank. You. I'm about to say I'm not throwing a full beer at you, bro. That's a waste. No. No, no I have, have a whole twelve pack. I'll, we should have them drink them right before working out, <laughs> so we get. Okay, I really die. <laughs> no, no. So like when I back yeah, when I was fit, fit, I did. I, I had a rule. I had to run two miles, one to two miles a day, no matter what. And one time I went to this metal concert before I went to work. I worked midnights, and I, I mean, I was thirteen beers deep, mm-hmm. and I had two hours to get to work. And I was like, "Fuck!" My alarm went off. I was like, "I gotta go run." I went to the gym because it was too cold outside to run, and I'm bound. So I'm still running, bouncing back. You know how treadmills have the fucking things i'm literally drunk running for a mile and a half fucking bouncing between the motherfuckers dude it was one of the worst runs of my life but still one of the best because it showed me dedication wow so you back when you were fit fit and now you're unfit fit i'm unfit oh. double unfit son i'm wearing double xl but i can oh, still do but kind of fit like i was 205 pounds and all muscle I'm, i weigh 270 now so damn yeah i am a lot heavier interesting that's a lot but I can still fuck. You hear that, Roxy? She no, she's not here. No. Nope. You can hear that. Hey, hey, Dad. Hey, when's the last time you were dating somebody? Did you spell meat wrong on purpose? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> when's the last time you dated somebody? Have you had a worse sex experience since you came on the podcast? Not a worse sense, but I do have more sex experiences. Woo! I do have because uh, of the pod, right? No. Yes, no. right. I've only, I've only your dad? since the last episode we did. <laughs> 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 I will say this I'm not going to go into it I have slept with somebody That my dad has slept with Wow oh, You fucked your mom You fucking nasty fuck <laughs> Fuck That's the whitest shit ever oh. Right after she recorded The video with the black guys <laughs> You remember <laughs> ah. <laughs> What a clan ass yeah. Wow <laughs> But uh No So Fucking um, <laughs> only thing I want to hear about now. God damn it. What happened? No, I will tell you this though. So one time I slept, did I tell, so I slept with a mom and daughter one time, but the daughter was a lesbian. She was trying mm-hmm. to get pregnant, but 
but the mom and everybody asked which one was better. And every, actually, everybody asked first, did you do it at the same time? And I'm like, what the fuck kind of question is that? Of course I did. You know, no, no, no. <laughs> but uh, yeah, because those aren't, those stories aren't ever real. No, no, no. No, yeah, yeah, no. Those are, that's fake yeah, pornography. Hypothetically, weird. Hypothetically, hypothetically, of course. Can I make yeah. it weird and tell you why it was even weirder? Mm. So the mom I slept with, I've known her since I was young, and I used to call her mom. Uh, that, did you, did she you was call a mother her mom in the moment? That's she was a mother white. figure to you? I mean, a fake one. She wanted me to marry her Yeah, daughter. mommy issues. Sounds oh, about 100%. White. Yeah. 100%. He wants to watch her get trained by black dudes. You don't remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. I already seen it. No. So like, but no, but listen, if I ever showed, I can't, I don't know how I'd be able to, but if I ever showed you a picture of the ma, like she had her daughter when she was 15 years old. He thought it was so like young that. and fine as hell. Yeah. And I slept with the ma first, even though how I met her was because yeah. I was interested in the daughter. Yeah. Everybody has social media nowadays. Yeah. Right. I'm not going to show it because, because okay. the daughter does, the ma kind of figured it out. The daughter doesn't know. And I'm still friends with both of them on every social media platform. And I'm pretty sure they'll listen to my comedy. <laughs> but, uh, what you ne- y'all t- never seen the jacket? No. No. Yeah. It's a pretty fucking crazy movie. It's the guy that, that gets shot in the head when he's in war, but he comes back to life and then. He, Full metal jacket, and then he gets accused of killing his wife or some shit with Adrian Brody. Yeah. Oh, that's a crazy fucking movie. I was dude. thinking the deer that's hunter. Weird that he's an actor. You know why? Adrian Brody, because his face doesn't look like an actor's face. What does it look like? An ugly white man's face. So every male actor, except for like, yes. look at that. He kind of looks like a fucking, you know. Mm-hmm. He right? looks like a real life so vampire. So he he gets accused, right? And then he gets found not guilty by reason of insanity because he had already been shot in the head, right? And so then he gets sent to this mental hospital and they inject him with something. They put him in like a morgue fucking, uh, like, you know, the shit they put dead bodies in like where they push him yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. Um, they put him in one of those and like they torture them basically by putting them in there. And, but while he's in there, somehow he fucking starts fucking going into the future. Like he's in 95 and then he goes into 2007 and like he saves this little girl and her mom, like they had wrecked on the side of the road and she was like back in 95 or 94. Right. And then in 2007, he's like goes and he sees the girl, the little girl as a grown up, and like, and then she's like, no, you're not this guy because that guy died in 95. And he's like, no, I'm fucking him right now. <laughs> like, it's Oh, okay. Crazy. Okay, I, I think I'd watch that. <laughs> so Is it like Memento at all? Have you ever seen Memento? No. Ooh, that was Christopher, one of Christopher Nolan's early yeah. films. It's a great- Or okay. Leif Schreiber, right? Or like Interstellar? No, oh, shit, I think I took you out in deep Canada. water and I can't yeah. get out. That is, no, that was. Uh, that I should have never talked about watch. movies. <laughs> Mental oh, no. is. Uh, <laughs> Where's my phone? I know the premise behind it, where he's leaving himself some notes. Yeah, you ever seen? Um, do you ever see Iron Man three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or Count of Monte Cristo? Oh, he's yeah, the bad guy. Um, um, yeah, Greg or Gary? Yeah, something. I know who you're talking. Have you seen Interstellar? Is it like that? I haven't seen it. Yeah. No, nothing no, like Interstellar. But it's Christopher Nolan. It's imagine, dude. It's like it's imagine Inception without dreams. It's it's. I've never seen Inception. Like every time he falls asleep, he, he fucking for, like kind of like his memory loss. He re- yeah, remember yeah. how every time she falls asleep, she mm-hmm. has a new memory. So he writes know. himself notes. So yeah. he, so Dude, he knows you could, what's going on. You could fucking rape her, and she would never know. Bro, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Nobody else thought that. It's Drew Barrymore. She's America's sweetheart. Yeah, so you could just she boom. Would be smiling at it. She wouldn't remember the next day. She'd oh, feel it. Am Jeez. I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. If y'all tell me I'm wrong, I'll take it back. What do you mean she wouldn't remember the next day? You haven't seen 50 First Dates with Drew Barrymore and Adam Sandler? She forgets everything. In that movie? Yeah, so he fucking smashed her one night and, you know, by um, force. (laughs) Yeah, but let me me clarify by saying that even if a woman didn't remember the next day, I would not rape her. Oh, I never said it was right. (laughs) <laughs> you said you raped her. You said you raped her. You could. Rape her. You could. Like, yeah. That's I was like, what the fuck? There's one thing <laughs> I'm gonna take a, take a stance on. No, you you could, you you could, could, things in our podcast, but. bro. You could jump off the roof and die. Like I'm not gonna go and do that. Oh, okay. Well, oh, Jesus okay. Christ. Yeah, but I was just like, y'all could, fucking motherfuckers got went there because y'all are like you got rapey tendencies. Probably, dude. After getting See, raped when <laughs> I was 17 at the strip club. Did y'all watch the new Spider Man? It's trauma. No, yes. do not no, spoil that yet. shit, motherfucker. I no? did. You did? Yes. You did? I was saying, yeah, no. You did? I'm not going to spoil it because I, I wouldn't even no. know what a spoiler is. I, I, I wouldn't, I don't know. I have no idea. I There was people like, yeah, to some parts, and I'm like, Oh man, I wish with I knew what the fuck they and were you're cheering just like, about. Nerds, like, yeah, like because yeah, that's what it nerds, is, dude. 
But oh. it was an interesting, it was a different um, cinematically. Oh, yeah. I don't know if that's a spoiler in any way because I think if you've seen no, it in no, the no. trailers, I you should see the way that it's made. No, I you guess not. You didn't see the first one? <laughs> no, is it like that too? Oh, yeah. you didn't see the first one? I guess not. Then you can't. Oh, you took it for your kids, right? Yeah. So the first one, the first one was before. Is it on Disney? No, oh, yeah. it's a Sony production be, right mm. before. Um, It was before the Spider-Man No Way Home came out. It was their introduction in the, into the multiverse mm-hmm. and it brought in a bunch of different Spider-Mans. Mm-hmm. So the next one, we're expecting a lot because they're going to try to, they're, supposedly they're this trying one? to. This yeah. one? Yeah. This, this one, one, from what I know, they're trying to integrate into that fan base that love, because mm. No Way Home was complete fanfare. And I loved it for it. It was it was a uh, completely it was they did whatever the fans wanted, and that's why I liked it. It's like we wanted this, they did it, and uh, and that's what they're hoping. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, cross the spiders, oh, cross the spider verses, bro. I'm not. Even, I never read the comics. Show. I was never a comic book kid. I just. But is that what Marvel. they're trying to achieve there? Is that I comic? Hope. Um, the, the oh. way they make it, the way they make the, um, no, like the, it, like the imagery. Yeah. Like it's not, nah, dude. I think that's just the genius of the person that's yeah. creating. It's insane. It's the, art yeah. the movement of the background. Dude. Yeah. Dude. I was like, I wish I was on There's certain colors put in there for certain feelings. Yeah. Like how you're supposed to feel. And the then colors like in the there. end when, when fucking, um, <laughs> what happens, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then when all the Spider-Mans die, what the fuck? <laughs> you seen it? No, I haven't oh. seen it. <laughs> I only know it's a black Spider-Man and, you know, they kill him. Miles Morales. He's Miles. actually Afro-Latino. Oh, so he's... Okay. He was modeled after... Yeah. Um, he's, he's, Haitian? he's Puerto Rican and black. Puerto Rican and black. Okay, well, it's close. Yeah. I was close. Yeah, but he was yeah. inspired by Donald Trump. Even his like, dad's not full black. Like, the guy yeah. who wrote that specific Spider-Man, Miles Morales, looked at um, Donald, Donald, Glover. Donald Glover and said, "Hey, this is our Spider-Man." That makes sense with the music shit choices. Wow, too. they wanted like we would say, "This is our gentleman." He was like, "This is our yeah." No, but they Spider-Man. wanted they wanted Donald Glover to play Peter That's, Parker. This is how, I just want to point out. This is how you know it's not really Crown Royal. They wrote whiskey. Is it? Was it though? It's not Crown. It's they, if if you buy Crown, you give somebody Crown and tell them it's Crown. They put whiskey. It's it's a knockoff. I called it. But they're cops. Yeah, they're exactly. trying to protect themselves from copyright infringement. No, that's copyright. They're not worried about. They're worried about fucking. Well, you drank it, motherfucker. <laughs> tastes like crown. It tastes like crown, but it, ten bucks says it wasn't crown. My uncle said it was crown. I believe him. Let's get him on the phone. <laughs> hey, Theo, is this fucking? Is this crown? Or he told you that just so you like, drink who's it? Who's this? <laughs> Probably picky motherfucker. Oh, but yeah. Uh, so Donald Glover was supposed to be Peter Parker, and then they ended up going with Andrew Garfield. Yeah. Dang. Oh, that would have been the dopest. Fuck, is that why they put him in the first, uh, in the Homecoming? Well, that's why they made My, uh, Miles Morales. But you beat Donald well, so Glover, in, he was in Homecoming. Yeah, in yeah. Homecoming, he's Miles Morales' uncle. Yeah. No shit? Yeah. yeah. How the fuck? You never put that together? No. Right? Yeah. There's what a, the there's fuck, a, There's a cut scene from there that he says, uh, I have a nephew in this neighborhood. No, no, he says that in the actual no, yeah. no, and then there's an, the... the, the scene, he says the name. There's of? a scene, he said, hey, Miles, I'm not going to make it home or something like that. In a, in a, yeah. I never fucking He's going to fucking go that. home and rewatch it instead Dude, of our I podcast. Did, I just rewatched Homecoming the other day yeah. and because uh, it's on Disney Plus now. What the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Respect. Dude, this should if they would have made Donald Glover fucking And you know Spider-Man you know what inspired it? There's the scene in like Community where he just dressed up in Spider Man. Oh yeah. Have you watched Community? Nope. No. Oh so <laughs> great <laughs> show <laughs> until Donald Glover leaves. He left Bags, he dude. leaves because Donald Glover, that's a guy on Chevy Chase weapon? is a piece of shit racist no. and he left literally. He quoted he goes, I can't wait. He's like, I'm done working but with him. But he's Chevy coming Chase. back for the movie. Really? You're fucking <laughs> but, no, but no Chevy Chase, right? You you no opened Chevy. the fucking <laughs> Chevy Chase? You opened the dude, movie Chevy portal, Chase dude, and it shit. just <laughs> spiraled. Yeah. I know. This is your fault. I took I know. This is it's your fault. You gotta own it. <laughs> you gotta yeah. just engage, dude. I can't. <laughs> I don't know. The Did bu- you just Google who the fuck Chevy Chase was? Mm-hmm. Get her the fuck out of here. <laughs> But it works though because if she doesn't know, she's pulling it up. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, that works. I it's just, legit. It's like <laughs> it's comical. And I want you to make that funny. cuts into I want you to make that a TikTok where it's every time she Googles something. <laughs> Did you just Google blah blah blah? Did you just Google what is supposed to be in your chat? She put who is Ace Ventura. She put who is Ace Ventura. Oh, you put who is yes. Ace Ventura? Yes. <laughs> yes, she said who is Ace Ventura. Wow, Ace if Ventura. Go back to one of these. Only the fucking most um uh transphobic. Who's Chris who's Chris wow. Who's Ace Ventura? <laughs> really? You haven't seen that? movie no it's the most transphobic movie ever what do oh, white dicks look yeah. like 
I don't want to Google that. <laughs> That's, it's on there. Ten She'd bucks. rather witness it for herself. No. You've never seen. You've it. never. You have I'm to. Telling you, I'm never seen it. You, had to you show can tell the, the white ones, at. huh? You had to show them where the buttons at. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Try the other ones. I'm gonna do that. Next time. <laughs> Oh, that was that was because of me, dude. They're trained. I know, but <laughs> I know that's because of me saying the record scratch. You didn't have that as that. Oh button, yeah, that it, is I true. know that's because of that. I did have it before. It did was you? Always, yeah, it came. Which, like that's that. perfect. <laughs> Wait, it came preloaded. Yeah, they preload so- sample pads now, mm-hmm. dude. That's fucking dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you used to have to fucking buy them. You used to, yeah, you used to have to load it up. Yeah, preloaded. I would say I just woke up, but uh, it's not preloaded. I didn't go. I didn't go to sleep. <laughs> I've been up doing the cocaine all night. <laughs> That's our theme song. <laughs> Let's pull up a random fucking movie and try to get uh, her to guess it. Bean and fucking rocks to guess. To guess the title? Or yeah. what? No, guess what the what the movie's about. Guess what oh, it's about. No, 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 no. Don't don't but how how are we gonna know? Have that, you not seen a lot of movies? No. no. I, that's why I was like, I took you on the deep water and I can't paddle here. Yeah, he doesn't I can't watch swim. Star- I, I he don't watch Star Wars. He did never watch Spider Man. Like shit. he doesn't watch so shit. The movie um the jacket, I asked the girl that I'm that I'm dating, I was like, What's your favorite movie? And she just went off with the list of movies, like, here's the favorite movie and here's why I like it. And That'd oh my me. god, she oh, was such badass. a great actor, and but I was like, Oh shit. That would be me. Honestly. She's like, What about you? I'm like Blood in, blood out. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> American me. There you go, man. No, fucking yeah. blood in, blood out. I was like, um, Bronx Tale and um, Forrest Gump. She's like, oh. Were wow. you hyperventilating? <laughs> no. Like when she started naming everything, just like mm, anxiety like, just kicked oh, in. Like, no. I don't know, none of this shit. No, you that's what I. You fucking nothing but chorizo, Holmes, pig. <laughs> that's what I kind of like is like, she'll take me along for it and be like, here. Dude, I, I should so then I started watching that. She was like the jacket, blah blah blah. I was like, which one can I watch tonight? She, the jacket, and I started watching it. And because I won't Serbian pay film. attention, I won't yeah, like too. stay focused on it. Have I'll you seen the right Departed? <clears throat> yeah, great but fucking movie. Like it? Can't right. too long. And you just recently saw Friday, right? I don't know how anybody watches a three hour podcast. It's ridiculous. Are you never seen it, dude? The Departed though. What if you if you it, like it's all Irish fucking white dudes mm-hmm. and then Anthony um Anthony Jezenek. No, Bourdain, hmm. uh, Black Anthony, Ma- uh, Mackie, uh, um, Anderson, Anderson, Anthony Anderson in it. Mm-hmm. He put like he's the only black dude to see the whole movie. Mm-hmm. One of the be- it's but it's based off a Japanese cop movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. one of the best American movies ever made. I don't care if it's a ripoff. Wow. Watch it. I yeah. wish I had the attention span. Yeah, it does get a little confusing. I would it say it teaches you about snitches and trust, though. If you, when I know all about that. Man, it teaches you who to trust. And my and cousin Adam taught me all about snitches and trust. Dude, you don't trust no one. Right. five episodes ago. Um, okay, let's go. How are we gonna? How are you gonna keep it a secret? Or right, we'll start easy. We'll this? start easy. Wait, you're just gonna say the name of the movie? Yes. No, we're gonna pull up the. So you're gonna say the name, and it doesn't have to be a secret. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a secret. Okay, go ahead. We'll go. to guess what the movie's about. Yeah, just based off of the fucking... All right. We'll start easy. It has to be go. obscure, though. Super. The movie is called Super? The movie is called Super. But if we see the... If we, that's why I said it's an easy one. If we see the advertisement, we're going to be able to tell, right? You're just looking at the image. Super. Oh, it's about um, a this knockoff one. You've seen superhero. it? No. Click okay. on this one. Yeah, it's um knockoff. Yeah, it has to be a knockoff superhero who and his superhero is, whose power is throwing a wrench at people and he hits every target every time. He's a super plumber. Mm. He doesn't take any shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never seen this movie, so You've never I, seen it? <laughs> so I'm you gonna fucking love it. I'm gonna run with it. Okay, that. play the trailer. Play the trailer. Um, how do I do that? Oh my <laughs> god! Just Google how do I play the trailer on a podcast. All right, Mace, I give him a, a layup. Super. Have you ever seen Super? Oh, of course. I knew I was losing her. <laughs> <laughs> that guy from the office. And it's the first time Excuse you me. see a, Have you seen a my female wife? on male oh, ring. She wants to see you anymore. What? Not my Sarah. Don't touch my car again. I'm going. That's not the kind of touching I meant. Jock, he stole my wife. Can you arrest him? Sometimes it's better just to accept these things. <laughs> Batman, Batarang, pipe bombs, utility belt, utility uh, belt. green Wait. arrow, has a bow and arrow. Okay. Why do you need all those? I'm making up my own superhero. He needs a weapon. That'll do. Cool. All it takes to be a superhero is the choice to fight evil. <laughs> Shut up, crime. That guy can make his own merch. Don't steal my wife. 
deal. Don't deal drugs. <laughs> Don't molest kids. <laughs> wow. Brutal assault by the Crimson Bolt continued last night. Shoot him. No. That's cool. I could be your kid's sidekick. Ta-da! How do I look? That's inappropriate. Frank is the only thing that will save me. We will take those suckers down. That's good. Let's do this. You just sit here and wait for crime to happen? That's right. <sighs> this is so boring. Yes, I can tell you now it's the You're supposed to kill him! I'm just learning. You have to teach me these things. This is not about good and evil. This is about she love me more because I am interesting. Oh shit, does it say Elliot yeah. Page on it? They changed it. This is back when Elliot Page was Hello, Ellen. Yeah. Face the wrath of the Crimson Bolt! Don't let the trailer fool you. That is one of the. It's, mo- it's sad. Fucking dark. It's dark. Oh really? Oh, yeah. It's fucked up. Like what happens? He dies. No. <laughs> so I'm gonna name three things that happen. Um, wow. You don't like spoilers, huh? I go for it. Well, if you decide to watch it, I kidding. liked it, but it's mm-hmm. it's. Uh, I just will say there is a, the first on film I've ever seen of a female on male rape. Whoa. Yeah. Um, hmm. It's also. It's was one, he hard? Huh? Was he hard? Yeah. You have to watch the movie. Okay, cool. Spoiler. But it's it's worth yeah, the watch, it. but it's not like the trailer makes it seem like an indie funny movie, and then you watch it, and you're like, bro, like you're sitting there. It reminds me, have you ever seen uh, Will Ferrell's um, Everything Must Go nope. or or uh, uh, Stranger in the Fiction? Nope. You're like, it's Will Ferrell. It's going to be funny. And then you <laughs> yeah, watch it, and you're like, dude, like I could probably off myself from the really? It's That's dark. It's Pick dark. another movie, Rich. So is that a, like the inspiration for Super Bad? Uh, thing came out uh, uh, no. pretty close, probably with Super Bad has nothing to do with superheroes. Yeah, Super Bad. Oh, you're thinking <laughs> you're of thinking a of Kickass. Kickass. Kick that's it. Oh yeah, my bad. Kickass. Because that's what I thought when this I saw did it. come out. The same. Yeah, the same time was Kickass. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was like, they're gonna give, be impressed. Give us some movie, Rich. <laughs> I was like, they're gonna be impressed that I know another that. movie. Yeah, <laughs> that I connected those two. Something movies. a little bit harder than that. That was kind of yeah. That wasn't hard enough for me. I mean, I said I'd start with a fucking layup. Um, loop it up, but make it harder. Make it real hard, Rich. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wait, are we naming them? I thought they were supposed to name the movies. Well, no, we're, no. We we're going we to name, name a movie them? and based off the oh. movie poster. It has yeah. to be obscure because obviously not mainstream. Um, ooh, an obscure one. Not too obscure either. No, no, but something that's don't been even a have to be. Have y'all, not seen, theater. have y'all seen a not Bison Jurassic Man? Park. A Bison Bison no, Park. you can't base off of it. can't be something that's off the, one of the most famous books in the world. Yeah, that's because uh, they read that. Oh, yeah, I read the book. Train Spotting. See, I've actually never watched it. Transpiring is watch a it. coming of I've age. I watched it once. I can't watch there's it. A lot of heroin, right? Oh. It's coming yeah, of but age. There's a movie. scene in there. It's coming of age movie about um, kids who don't have anything better to do but um, hop on trains and fuck off their life. But um, one catches AIDS and the other one straighten up. You seen this movie? No. You just named <laughs> Reckon for a Dream. So. <laughs> oh, was that what that was? No. <laughs> but um, was I on or off? Click on it. I've never seen this shit either. This what guy's too fuck? fucking lazy to respond to me. What do you, Rox? We're going to watch Train the fucking about? trailer. Oh. Is about well, we're waiting for. Say something. <laughs> Talking to the microphone. Friend, Not you. It's about a guy and his friends. No, no, no. We're going to play the trailer, but he could have said, yeah. Right. Choose a job. Choose a career. Choose a family. <laughs> Choose a big television. Coming of age. <laughs> You're a quiet, sensitive type. Oh. A little bit crazy, a little bit bad. Choose washing machines, cars, compact displays, and dental insurance. That'll be one. You lied yeah. on your application. Only to get my foot in the door. What exactly attracts you to the leisure industry? I don't want pleasure. Like, more pleasure than other people's pleasure. He's always been lacking in moral fiber. He knows a lot about Sean Connery. Rick, That's hardly a substitute. Like, yeah, 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 this is a I'm no. I'm not going to lie. The, the accents no. are throwing me off. Yeah. 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 Fuck you. I, I hate They're foreign films. They're basically heroin addicts. I hate foreign films too. Dude. All right, do fuck it. it. A Serbian film. What do you think it's about? I, I hate foreign films. You just fucking throw it We have to though. What do you think a Serbian film is about? A Serbian film? It's about, um. it has to be about um a Norwegian <laughs> it's gotta be about uh, Nikola Jokic, a Serbian. Film. <laughs> Wait, were you talking about? Are you talking about the dude from Game of Thrones? 
No, I'm talking oh, about the stick light costume. The, oh, the yeah. Player, Joker. Yeah, Joker. From what do you the, think? Okay, Rox, what do you think? Uh, a Serbian. It's about, about they go to jail in Serbia and they have to like torture each other for their crimes. Like, all right, you play, seen play this? the trailer. Play the trailer. Oh, is there? Oh is there no. no. What'd you say it was about? A Norwegian. He said a Norwegian. Let's go. Um, there's a movie. Not it's like seeking or um, it's about uh looking for someone to time travel with. I forgot what it's called. Hot tub time machine. A time no. traveler's wife. No. No. It's what? like not seeking an, a friend for the end of the world. It's like yeah, that's uh, what I was thinking. Of. No, it's um safety. Not no. Have you seen Kill Bill? Um no. What do you think it's about? Give me two words. Well, you, they're trying to kill Bill. Thank you. <laughs> nice. You're close. <laughs> you're, pretty, you're getting good at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Like, no, is that so fun? It's gonna pop up. Iron. It's gonna be yeah, God. What the I fuck is Gone with the Wind about? Oh, put up Gone with the Wind, bro. God, no, man, I don't watch it. movies, and I'm what doing do this think, for you, you, Rich. What yeah, do you think Rich, you were supposed they to be put the... up their laundry on a windy day, and then they're put up, hang up their laundry, <laughs> right? And then the wind. Right, what do you think it's about? All the laundry away. Gone with the Wind. Um, it's got to be a romantic oh. film about uh, a gentleman who just. Um, he won't stay. She wants him to <laughs> stay, black. but he, he won't stay. <laughs> can't be black because this was in black and white times and there was no... Nope, it's in color. Black, in the black and white. Oh, oh really? It's in color. Is it one it was of the, one of the first big first movies, movies in, in color, color right? Color. That's probably why it was so big because it was in color. It probably Gone was. with the wind. I'm pretty sure they, re- they released it originally in black and white and then they released it in color a couple years later. Super boring. Super that's Botox weird bitches used to dress like that. Like, uh, how would you get your dick on the I think that would make it harder. Who's there? Watch red butterflies. Tell you are no gentleman. Imagine having yes, sex with a girl and you just Don't gotta you take off me? every I'm little fucking piece, piece of garment she's wearing. Bro, I'd be tired and ready for bed by the time she was done. There's a soldier in the South who loves you, Scarlett. A sheltered and manipulative Southern Belle and a roguish profiteer face off in a turbulent romance as a society around them crumbles with the end of slavery and is rebuilt during the Civil War and Reconstruction periods. They're trying to find love while fucking (laughs) blacks are being freed. I don't know if I could be in love with you. That's like what's happening right now. Top 250 movies, and then we'll see if we see it. Never seen Shawshank Redemption. Wow. Never seen The Godfather. Oh, Shawshank is great. Never seen yeah. The Dark Knight. I've never um, seen any of these movies. Have you seen Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring? Fuck no, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That one is hard to watch, dude. Like now, I think that's hard to watch. Really? I've watched the extended Pulp Fiction? Cuts. I've heard that one's a, a popular it's a, one. It's good, but even Dude, look you- at Across the Spider-Verse, bro. Wow. It's already 11? Yeah. That's the newest, that's the newest one? Yeah. Holy shit. How did it make it up that? Wow. Look at Forrest Gump right under it. <laughs> Fuck yes, bro. I'm on. None of the movies the movie. that my girl mentioned are on this fucking top 10 list. Yeah, dude. She mentioned a bunch of shit just to fuck your brain up. Well, she was judging me for saying Maybe she made how up basic. names of movies. No, because the jacket was the plainest name that she said, and, and it was an actual fucking good movie. Maybe she oh, you watched look- it? Yeah. She was looking around her room and saw In five jacket. sittings, I watched it, but- Hey, at least you I got the job it. done, I tried bro. watching Inception, but it was I couldn't follow along. I I watch it all the time. I switched to Shark's Tale after that. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it was kind of like? It was kind of like the butterfly effect. Ooh. Never seen that. Ooh. Um, what would you think the butterfly effect is about? Well, I know. Oh, you know what that is? Okay, cool. Because cool. right, you didn't know what Chatterbait was. So. What about Interstellar? Have y'all seen that? Yeah. What is it with know. you and Interstellar? It's right there. What the fuck? But that's like the second time you've mentioned oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I thought that's what y'all were talking about, and now I saw it. So I'm like, hey, have y'all seen Interstellar? It's a Christopher Nolan movie. He talked about Christopher Nolan. Follow the fucking pod, my man. Mace, do you focus on, do you work, do you, um, Focus at all on on social media branding, building up anything like that. Would I try? Um, my issue is is <coughs> I have a shitty phone, so taking good quality video is bad. And I have um, a shitty, I don't have a good filming spot because my apartment sucks right now. So I'm kind of. I used to back when I did music, social media branding was big, and that's how I got. That's how I got my band out there um, to get like before. But with comedy, it's like I'm on a waiting period. Once you have a I, good computer. It's a gaming computer, but I don't have. I don't have a. a I don't have. Mics hooked up to it, and I yeah. don't have a webcam or anything like that hooked up to it. It's strictly, it's like gaming. And but it's if you a, had the content, you'd be able to process. 
Yeah, well, yeah, but Love another it. thing, I still take it from my phone. Because like, my apartment sucks and my computer's in my apartment. Sounds like a lot of excuses. I'm just it's asking so many excuses. You. Are you it's going crazy. to Patrick Christopher's show at the LOL? I do kickball on Thursday. I'm promoting it, but I kick, Thursdays I'm in a kickball league. Another excuse. Oh. You're in a kickball league? Yeah, that's my know. one thing I do that's non like. I have not, you haven't talked about this in two podcasts. It's my excuse to drink on a Thursday, so don't ruin it for me. <laughs> you drink in kickball? Yeah. Oh, it's a beer league. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Hold on, hold on. I'm looking at these. What's y'all's record? Oh, like we lose like every game. We've tied. Our best games are tied games, but they're the most fun because it's like I talk shit the whole time, but in a Mm -hmm. fun way. And then other teams are so competitive. There's teams that like the one thing they do a week is like come to kickball. They they live their lives Mm -hmm. and they come there and they're like, I'm the fucking king of this. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, this is Thursday for Mm -hmm. me, homie. Like, this is my fun day. Like, you're not going to ruin this. And my sister, my brother-in-law on the team with me and some friends and like, I like I your sister's on the team with you. No, yeah, well she, she was she sits it out now. But uh, Dang, for, she got hit in the nose. Yeah, that's actually exactly what it is. Um, wow. But uh, so like, <laughs> but it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> but like, some of these other teams take it so fucking seriously. Like, most of my team is like former military, and the mm-hmm. other teams are all like dudes, people. Because mm-hmm. it's a mix. It's co-ed teams. They take it so fucking seriously, and it's like, listen. I'm here, like, can you see I'm fucking getting drunk and, like, this is my Thursday night. I got to be to work in the morning. Yeah. But I don't give a fuck about winning. I'm here to have fun. Please don't ruin this. And people are, like, they're yelling at the ref who's making, like, five bucks an hour. They're, like, what the fuck, ref? What's with this call? And I'm, like, dude, I don't care. Like, fucking, I'm here to kick the ball, have fun, and make jokes with y'all. I don't give a shit, dude. Wait till you get in fucking uh, when you have kids and you're out there. What's the weirdest Uh, sexual position you've ever had a woman in? Where you were like, what the fuck am I doing right now? Let me change this up real quick. Or not. Or she likes mm, this. Um, you, you know what I'm talking about. This was recent. That's why he's taking his time. He did something new the other day. <laughs> I like him because he'll answer. Mm, <laughs> No, because I'm trying to I'm trying to think of the best ones. I don't want it to be too bland. Rox, can you, anything come to mind for you? Nope. Maybe like you plain ass bitch. One, no, one, uh-uh. one. <laughs> time on this dented mattress. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think Rich would do karaoke too. Ooh. I mean, I've seen him do Billy Idol. I know. I would say probably a girl laying across on top of me, but she was laying like I'm this way. She was this way. Like a cross. Like a cross. That was probably the weirdest sex position. Oh, yeah. Like that one, and I still had it in, but it was still, it, it was going. Um, I saw that recently on the porn. Yeah, I guess the other time it's would like be. like a sideways cowgirl type thing. Yeah. No, he, yeah, but she's like laying down. The other one would be that one that time. One was new, this, though. This El Salvadorian girl flipped me over to El try Salvadorian. to eat my ass. She's like, I'm going to eat your ass. Like, I'm going to eat your ass. And mm-hmm. then flipped me over. And I was like, she was strong. Went she was, and oh. flipped me over. And I was like, no. But yeah, so. And then now, yes. you yes. now you aren't. Now you aren't. No, I really did, but that bitch was strong. Yeah, that was nuts. And then, and then no, it was nuts. It was nuts. And really, and that's ass. why she was strong. She had, <laughs> she had nuts. How long yeah. before you felt the nuts? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was crazy, dude. And I was like, "What the fuck?" But Damn. anyway, how what does that you? work, though? What tie with cowgirl? Yeah, it like, was cool. Like he was on, he was laying on the couch, right? And she, you know, backwards cowgirl, right? Like, but yeah, she she it, you know what? Do you know what? Um. What um, Ariel was talking about, how she was like, I like to have my my hands on his on his chest, and then like I'm up in the air, like she's up in the air, and he's just oh, from the bottom. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. good when a girl actually right. can hold herself. But up. like going turning sideways, so she is would have dim, her hands. It's on like the... a deeper angle. It's, oh, so, and it's on the couch, right? So but I don't get the here. laying down part. I don't understand. I, oh, I get his? that. Yeah, yeah, I get yeah, that. No, yeah. Yeah. she wasn't that. sitting up. She was laying down. That's all. I was like, all right, whatever. Like we're doing this. What? That's like, that's different. Who's on top? She was. She was. She was laying on top of me. And I was like, all right, whatever. It's in. I don't care. I can't get the visual. Yeah, I can't get it. I just feel like it would <laughs> hurt. No, what were you about to bring up? What a if you have ago? a U penis? What? You were about to bring <laughs> something up a second ago, and I was I was into it. You sat right in the middle. Karaoke. Oh, Rich yeah. doing Welcome karaoke. To, he's gonna do karaoke, and then you're. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do uh, uh, Toby Keith, and then you're gonna end with uh, what Toby Bob Keith? Oh, uh, either. Oh, I'll probably. Should've. You shouldn't kiss me like this. Close, close. I was thinking. Uh, I wish I didn't know oh, now what I didn't know then. 
I wish I stopped this whole thing over again. We need the music behind it. Yeah, because yeah, I have no <laughs> idea what the fuck you're singing. Really? Oh, dude. Let me tell you about this song. It's it's all a, right. it's a Oh, I'm as good as that one. No. So that one? Yeah. When I wish I didn't know now is what it's when my dad when when his ex cheated on him, um, me and my ex were together at the time, Alex's mom, and we went to um to Houston to visit him to just be a support, right? For him. This bitch plays that song and it's a song about, about cheating. Yes. That's fuck. And he had just like just discovered. And he, the guy, like I, I, you know, from what I remember, like the, it, it was the whole scenario. Like the guy was living at my dad's old house, uh, <laughs> and you will hear this song, and I'm like, why the fuck is she playing this with him in the car right now, <laughs> dude? She's like, this fun. is my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I just think that it was, it was, that was purposely done. I felt like, <laughs> I feel like I'll do that one if you do, uh, if you do the again. I do, one. and then maybe Rich does. Something. Maybe he if will. he's down. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Rich, what I do. oh, Jesus Christ! He's like, I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I'm sleepy, guys. It's not the right atmosphere. It's not the right acoustics in here. Yeah. I've been sick for a week. <laughs> it's weird. Uh... Dude, what the I mean, fuck no, are you doing I don't today? Fucking, I don't fucking know what I want. Did you show up for the pod, or Bro, did you? You know, Michelle's watching bit. this, right? Oh, I mean, yeah. watching. <laughs> Dude, I'm literally willing to eat more for this podcast. You don't want to eat I'm less. Eat when I get done after this. But also, you don't want to do karaoke. There we go. It's the last one on the list. Yeah, Rich, there's some fucking carry on. Damn, we went a lot I mean, longer I'll, than I thought. so fat. I thought we were going to be shorter than this. Really? Yeah, dude. I thought it was, I was like, we're going to two hours and be done. How long did we do last time? We did three we and did a three. half. Yeah. And no, and a half. Michelle accused us of doing four. No. Oh, like yeah. <laughs> you uh, ready, Mace? We uh, could uh, we uh, could do some karaoke uh, and call it a call it I'll a I'll keep time. going as long as y'all want. I just No, we got to we still got to practice the Zoom. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for Oh yeah, that's good a good idea. And a one, All and right. a two, and a. Damn, dude, I'm gonna fucking. Look at these back here, Oh, y'all cry. I never asked you where you going. I never asked you where you been. I never called to check your story. You stayed out with all your friends I never tried to catch you lying I didn't want to know the truth I'd rather go on loving blind, girl Than go on loving without you I'm fucking up I wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then I wish I'd start this whole thing
Yeah. That was terrible. You fucking bitch. Uh, but after he's done, I know a song we're all going to do together. All right. I'll do it together with you anytime. Volver, volver. V O L V E R. You're Mexican. You should know the shit by heart. She, Come can't, on. Spell, <laughs> she can't even spell in English. <laughs> oh, my bad. There we go. Yikes. Hope hey, I don't suck hey, as yeah, bad as you, honey. Yeah, uh, what, what is the joke? Is it, Como se llama uh, un oso? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. How do you say uh, angry? Not fear. Uh, shit. I'm trying to think of the Spanish joke. Fuck. Fucked it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What'd you just say? Enojado. Enojado. So, como se, uh, como se llama un oso? Enojado. Enojado. <laughs> Furioso. <laughs> That's pretty good. There you go. Spanish yep. dad joke. Yep. Sorry. I can't believe I didn't remember that shit. We're good. <laughs> shit. <laughs> ah, this is scary. Este amor apasionado ha nadado por otro por volver. Hoy camina la locura y aunque toda te tortura, sé que nos dejamos hace tiempo, pero ve llegó el momento de perder. Tenías mucha razón Y hago el caso al corazón Y me muero por volver Y volver, volver Volver A tus brazos otra vez Hace tiempo, pero ve llegó el momento de perder. Tú tenías mucha razón y hago el caso al corazón y me muero por volver. Otra vez Llegaré hasta donde estés Yo sé perder, yo sé perder Quiero volver, volver, volver Gang, gang, gang. Three zero, is that what it called? Three zero I think he won that one. All right. So the one we're all going to do <laughs> together. That's a 30 piece, bro. The Three one we're going to do together. Did y'all do Backstreet together before? And the bar, right? Yeah, we did. Mm-hmm. Well, night. guess what Backstreet's we're doing? Back. We're going to do uh, everybody. Everybody. Backstreet's back. Everybody. Bitch, you don't know Backstreet Boys? <laughs> <laughs> Backstreet's back. For my time. It's called Backstreet's back. <laughs> <laughs> Who paid this hey, man? Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Turn it around. Like a real DJ in this bitch.
are back again Brothers, sisters, everybody say Gonna bring the flavor, I'll show you how Got a question for you, better answer now through that without any end. We should go on tour. That's what Mace the Comedian (laughs) does for us. Nah, yeah. Like me, I'm the I'm the uh, what do you call it? I'm the I'm the unofficial the w- token white guy. Member. Yeah, you're the, the token to- white the token, guy. I'm the token Argentinian. Wait till you meet the black guy, dude. We're gonna have y'all fight. Oh, black. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a real right there. <laughs> Wait till you meet the black guy. Black. But man, Mace, thanks for coming back, man. Dude, I had fun. All I did was get drunk, talk shit, and talk about movies, and then hit on your sisters. Oh, I mean, that was cool. That's right, dude. He I does know. that. Every week, yeah, yeah. Exactly. except the movies, movies part. Yeah, you actually add, <laughs> added yeah, with the movie. Nice to get the change up. But week. hey, we actually got him talking about movies this week, so yeah. we're gonna have to. So I'm, I'm trying to do better. I'm trying. The to change get, is coming, dude. I'm trying to do a little less raunch. So, um, but you're still getting fucking. Um, oh, you're still yeah. getting Love Master on here, right? Yeah. Next yeah. Wednesday, or this Wednesday? Yeah, this Wednesday, Wednesday, you will be here. I'm fucking excited. This Wednesday. This is going to be our fucking craziest guest. Like, best guest. Big, no, it's ever. big, dude. Like I said, I'm glad and I'm so proud of this podcast because you guys are moving away from just doing local people. You're yeah. doing big fucking people. Yeah. Like, I like you. You did uh, the dude who's done WWE and fucking and all that shit. Like, oh, and Chip. Dude. Like, and, and Smooth then Chip. Smooth. Oh yeah, smooth. We got smooth coming, and we got um Enrique Chacon. Enrique Chacon. We have to plan that one out so we can get to Austin. Um, you seen Enrique Chacon? On on Kill Tony hit? 
No. Oh, no. man. He's an up and coming, man. He's, He's got a fucking... golden ticket for it. Dude, Tony. Did you see he did yeah. the secret show the other day? Yeah. That shit was so hey, fucking Houston? packed. Austin. No, in Austin, dude. Oh, he did Austin. Yeah. Austin. Show. Smooth Vega, the guy Smooth Vega is from Austin, but that dude's been involved with everybody, like Lil Flip, fucking Dope ah. House Records. <laughs> yeah. Um, like Bumby, everybody. Like oh, fucking. Shit. Oh, speaking of, you guys listen to Bo Bundy yet out of Houston? No. no. Bro, if you want to end it on a good note, so he does English rap. Uh, Spanish rap and then he does Teano and he does American style country in English he wow. does all of them on his albums Bo Bundy Bo Bundy look him up you will let's love try to him. do some Bo Bundy karaoke no I'm kidding I don't know his songs but he does one he does like a cover of Teardrops on uh, my guitar or something like that really? yeah he dude he does like you listen to it and the name Bo Bundy you're like this is a white dude and you look him up it's a it's it's me audio dude yeah no I'm yeah like that's his that's one of his rocks would you fuck him about. He about yes. he, he <laughs> that's, that's right up for Ali. He, he would be right up for But he's Ali. on Spotify and everything, dude. He's he's been my Damn, Oh yeah, I bro. seen this dude. Yeah, I seen he this does dude. look like he kind of looks like Mo Amber. So, <laughs> is he Hispanic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why why what's up with these Hispanics going the way of the white white white? Well, name? but he does, but he does like remember uh remember like uh uh go back up. Rasa and Wait, shit like that. Like go to this one, I think. Song? Yeah. Um, he Get does frost. like Dude, he does fucking. His, some of his rap songs are like that throwback uh, to the LA uh, like Americano uh, style of like uh, he raps in Spanish like that, to where you like someone like me can translate the lyrics. Click on him. Let's let's hear what he's got and let's get him on the pod. I'm a row twenty six is scraping on the switches. Bundy got the city oh, yeah, he's he's so high. bitches. Bundy never misses when he shoot a shot. Got a bitch like Beyonce and I took it to the spot. Took it to the mouth. I like that jail route. Fuck the bitch good. Now we eat a knee how. Creeping through the hood, jamming to secreto. Too much potholes, you know I'm riding lento. Que toquen los dorados, rubo pal mayitos. Stop by rolling and pick up some perico. Pick up some gaitos, cause I like to get high. When I drive by, the bitches wave high. Me dicen el goloso, bato paletoso. Con los ojos rojos traigo ritmo muy sabroso. Chingos de feria, pero yo no lo presumo. Bajo la ventana y se sale todo el humo. Fumo yo la mota, screaming for the chota. Y de mía torta con tu hermana la gordota. No me quita importa, if I'm getting paid, hating on me, won't get you laid. Bone play your maid with the tape of fade. I'm the lone star, take the diamonds on the chain. Clipping wood grain, or I'm riding billets. Worry about my bread, give a fuck about your feelings. The bitches say they miss me, send me hugs and kisses. Got more dough than shit, please, more cocoa than Disney. The game up for grabs, so you know I took it. Jordan 95, cause I'm back on my bullshit. Saca la bolsita, saca la bolsita. Para que se acaben Morenas, güeritas, gordas, flaquitas, hasta si. Chiquitas aquí no se agüitan, bebecita o oh bebesota, cuerpo de diosa, cuerpo de pelota. A mí no me importa, oh, una peli roja que se pasa la boca. I could have bought a Lexus, but I'm from hey, Texas. Yo. Bro, dude, he goes hard and then he does fucking, he does Teano and then he does like old school American country all in the same shit, bro. He's hot. Dude, that dude is popping. Me too, rap. Texas. And this was in 1995. I'm back on my bullshit. Dude, 1995 because I'm back on my bullshit. <laughs> dude, oh my he's good, man. He's fucking great. If, oh. Now, if you could get this, which is hard, this it's motherfucker's okay. hot. If you could get this motherfucker on here, you would. It would I, I believe be in my ticket. booking guy. That'd be the ticket. I believe in I it really too. Do. It's just a, he's your booking guy. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> no, but honestly, it's not hard, get it, bro. Dude, get it, get it, bro. I can, it's I it's, it's in only it. Houston. You might have to pay him. So you might have to pay him. But like, mm -mm. bro, get this motherfucker. I think when they see the product, they we realize, didn't have to pay Craig Shoemaker. Bro, he about to blow up bigger than that. I'm telling you. Oh yeah, he, he already, he already, he's done. He's been like, I think he just did Japan and shit. Oh, That's fucking my thing. Crazy. More is, um, I think if you fuck with the product, um, I learned this from doing mu music is when. If a, it's a big artist, if they like the song, they'll jump on it. It doesn't matter if you're fucking right. who you are. Yeah. If it's a bit good enough song, they'll jump on it. This is a good enough product. I think mm -hmm. anybody can get on it. There you go. No, good, good, look, good. Fuck that's it. why I always said we just got to put the content out there. Yeah. They have to have something to look at. Because if they don't like this interview, they'll go to another one. But they're like, damn, I like the way it's shot. I like the way it's put together. It's different. Yeah. Everybody and, does the, what, the, the back and shot, multi shot. Fun. This, ain't, yeah. this ain't even bringing in important people. Nope. Like, so make the good. Yeah. We got the good shit coming. Get, if you can get fucking Bo Bundy on here, I will sit outside your house with a sign. <laughs> you're, like, sign my titties. <laughs> bro, you're in here, baby. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Yeah, he but he's he's been the one I've been pop like when I go to pool and shit, yeah. I try to I try to get somebody to play him on like that's cause cause he it's you can just play his albums yeah. and it's a good mix for like any barbecue. I'm Damn. telling you, it's a good and mix. And it's like that? that? That's it's that and then like I said, the country, the Diano. Um, you're you're invited to the barbecue? 
Oh, oh, every time. I eat the mother. I eat every barbecue, and I, I eat it like the chocha. You know, I, I, sp- I spit on it, and then you I eat. eat the big chocha. You eat, is that I what you don't, don't, I don't know. know. I'm friends things. with her husband. Do not make I, that joke. I, I don't know. I just <laughs> you let that out, and I kind of catch it when it slips. All right, man. We're gonna let you go because we got some prep to do. We I got, got you, a big got interview you. on. All right, I love you all. Hey, uh, by the way, so this is gonna come on time. If you're gonna be in Corpus Christi, uh, 23rd, 24th, I'm doing two shows. One with Tina La Cucina, and my, I bring in my friend Laura Ortiz and our buddy Anthony Nino from the Valley. We're doing a show at uh, Northwestern mm-hmm. Center in Corpus Christi, and then the next day I'll be at Panchia Hash Garden. Uh, with a bunch of uh, Corpus Christi's local talents, um, they th- they threw me on that. I didn't know I was going to be on it till I got till yeah. I said I was coming. They're like, "Hey, I'm on the show." Uh, and then October 27, 28. Uh, if you're going to be in San Antonio, uh, I should be doing the atmospheric amphitheater and woodlawn theater in well, here downtown that San one you definitely gotta let us know so oh we can yeah it's gonna know. be big i'all better right? be y'all better right y'all want to go see everybody but, else yeah. that's yeah. what mace yeah 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 i think well, I, if it, in all honesty, hey, make sure it's good enough so we don't have to go just for you and then you bomb no i'm 10 bucks says michelle Cantu will be on it if it's a good oh, show and i'm on it can is definitely fucking uh, on it okay that will be good uh, and then also too check out uh if you haven't checked out anything i'm on um I just did a uh, uh, props comic. Uh, check that out. I give Michelle Cantu big, barbacoa uh, core. Barbacoa core. That's a uh, you know. Oh, that's what Pat. That's what Pat Patrick Christopher. Where can they find you on socials? You can find me at any social media, any one of them except for Twitter. I haven't made a Twitter yet, but at Mace the Comedian. I have all the Mace the Comedian. Why did you lock down that name? It's not cool. Well, are you, are you Mace motherfucker? No, because there's because there's twenty other Masons in comedy, and when the minute they realize, but why the comedian yeah. though? Like, why not Mace the white guy? Yeah. Nah, because I want them to know what they're coming. Because at first, when I started getting on comedy shows, you couldn't tell if it was comedy show or not because motherfuckers don't know how to make flyers until I got an LOL. So I was like, but Mace the comedian. So that way, when people look at it, they know what kind of show this is. They're not going to a TED talk. They're coming because nobody knows these. Nobody knows who if I'm a comedian. even. Yeah. Beans, the producer shows up to fucking do some comedy. They're like, what are you? What the fuck are you doing here? You're supposed to be producing right now. But I took it. And because that's what I think I'm going to be. That's going to be my comedy name. Once I did LOL. (laughs) Comedy club under that name, I was like, that's my forever name. Doesn't matter what I'm doing. That's because I've done the first big stage I've ever done. I was like, that's going to be my forever name. I've had other local comedians give me shit. They're like, that's the dumbest name ever. I go, really? Like who? Uh, I'm not going to name. No, come on. Just name one. I'll give you one. Um, <laughs> your mother? No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Your I, uh, mom? <laughs> no, but funny. like, but it's she is funny. I told you about the joke. But it's easier to remember Mason comedian than mm-hmm. um, somebody like there's a dude in Houston mm-hmm. with like Mason something something. And it's like it. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, you ever heard of him? Oh, I think I work with him. No, no. Yeah. You know, Mace the comedian. That's the comedian, Amy. Yeah, that's fair. No. Hey, you know Mace? Which way, Mace? The comedian. The comedian. Yeah, Mace the yeah. comedian. Pretty fucking easy. The rapper. Or you can get it confused with the rapper, which is good. It's true. Beans, yeah. can you um, throw a kiss to the camera real quick? Mm. We out. Yeah, he's crazy. He's sad.